Brian Hagen reporting. Frustrated Superman fans told reporters Monday that the economically healthy and financially stable Daily Planet newspaper is now the most unrealistic aspect of the comic book's universe, acknowledging that enjoying the adventures of a superhero that can fly, lift cars over his head, and shoot beams of light out of his eyes requires some suspension of disbelief. Longtime readers said even the comic's most exciting stories are regularly ruined by the implausibility of a thriving daily newspaper whose advertising revenue and circulation numbers have not at all been threatened by a media landscape overtaken by lap laptops, smartphones, and aggregation websites. Look, I can play along with Superman using his breath to freeze a volcano or clapping his hands together to cause some sort of sonic boom, but seeing images of a thriving Daily Planet newsroom not facing layoffs or dwindling home subscriptions just really takes me out of the story. No one in Metropolis has realized they could get news online faster and for free? This is the Onion News Network. This is Free Talk Live. You can bring up anything that you want by dialing toll free to 855 450 free. That's 855 450 3733. We also have available to you Skype. You can Skype on into the show at username lrn.fm. Do send a contact request. A few people have done that today. They will be approved. And then once your request is approved, it'll be easy for you to get on with us via Skype. Uh, Ian and Mark in the studio as normal on uh, a Monday evening. Uh, But Derek J. feeling a little under the weather today. His voice was having a tough time. It sounded better before the show, but I said, you know, I already asked Chris Cantwell to come in. Because uh, he had come down to say he was feeling better, and I said, yeah, just take the night off. Better to take it easy and rest up, make sure you're ready to go. Um, so Derek, week. Derek is out. Chris Cantwell is in. Hey, Chris. Good to be with you guys. Thanks for having me on. Yeah, I think this is your first time behind a, you know, like a microphone here as a, as a co-host. Yes, as a co-host behind a microphone in studio, yes. I, uh, this is the first time I've obviously been a, a guest a few times, uh, mostly remotely, and I am glad to be in studio with you fine gentlemen today. Thank you for having me. Poked, cajoled, crucified at times, but today he's behind a mic. <laughs> you didn't have to come very far either. Uh, you now live across the street from the LRN.FM studios. Yes, as has been uh, famously published by our good friends over at StopFreeKeen.com, <laughs> I now live across the street from the uh, from the Free Talk Live studio, and it's a blast. I've got a nice three-bedroom house over there. Mm-hmm. I'm going to try to get the roommate or two in there. And wonderful, wonderful neighbors. So yeah, I'm I'm grateful that uh, that you're here. And uh, I actually just posted an article about you at freekeen.com, saying that you're back and some of my thoughts about that. But also posting up a video that you produced over the weekend, was it a few days ago, uh, where you not only burned the U.S. flag, but shoot holes in the u.s oh, flag prior to with both a uh assault rifle for lack of a better term and, it's gonna be one of those shows and uh <laughs> and a handgun as well so yeah i had what, a what inspired that uh, that video it's clearly my love of country ian <laughs> um so <laughs> so i yeah i uh had gotten my hands on a sega 12 a semi-automatic shotgun and uh I decided to set off some fireworks for the 4th of July in, in the form of uh, <laughs> buckshot through a, an American flag. And then when I ran out of ammo, I unloaded my handgun into it. And then I set it on fire because I find <clears throat> when I see, uh, you know, Independence Day is this celebration supposedly of uh, overthrowing a tyrannical government. I think that we presently live as subjects of a tyrannical government now, and so to worship the flag that, uh, that that represents that government sort of offends me, so I decided to make this uh, very provocative uh, flag desecration video. So when you say it's provocative, and I would agree with you, mm-hmm. what do you think, what is the point, other than clicks and, uh, you know, uh, flame wars what, what's the what, what are you trying to achieve i want or to, is it clicks and flame wars <laughs> well i mean clicks and flame wars help right i mean this puts advertising revenue in my pocket so i mean that's part of it obviously however i would like to turn moderates into radicals and radicals into movers that's more or less my my goal here that's the reason i came to this place 
Now, noteworthy, uh, and Mark, I'm curious to know, because you've, Mark has always been, for Christopher and for new listeners, Mark has always been a big critic of, uh, you know, burning flags. I don't. Also, flags tend to be in a public uh, space. So, one thing that I think that there's worth mentioning here is Chris took a video. And it, it makes it less about place and right. more about, uh, you know, the, the act. And that's an important dis- thing to me. Right. He wasn't doing this as Anarcho Jesse, who was a previous mover as part of the Free State Project, as he did it. Anarcho Jesse did it in Central Square, right in the heart of downtown Keene for everyone but to see. But he did it with a U.N. flag, a New Hampshire flag, and a, um, and a U.S. US flag. flag. In and Chris's that's- video, it's just the U.S. flag, and it's done, obviously, in someone's backyard. There's no one else around except for the cameraman. And the, the nice thing about having burned three flags is you can say if somebody calls in upset about uh, flag burning you can say which one which uh, you know makes them say well I partic- like this particular color of, of fabric um, you know this is the fabric that's important to me and that it makes it makes sort of you know there's it it points out a certain level of the ludicrousness what I like about what Chris did in the sense that he's not in one particular place if I were to like anything about this particular act <laughs> and I don't know that I do at the very least he's not turning my neighbors against me mm-hmm. um, nearly at nearly the rate that uh, the fl- a flag burning a US flag in Central Square would do yeah so clearly I mean um there's something to be said for provocative things out in public spaces that draw the ire of your neighbors, and and I can see benefit in that. Certainly, the goal of this one was clearly to you know put on a, a show for people who wanted to see it. Now, of mm-hmm. course, I do things that are for people who want to see them, for subscribers and that sort of thing. And of course, people who don't want to see it end up watching it they anyway it. and sending mm-hmm. me death threats and sort yeah. of that sort of thing. And I always find that sort of entertaining. But yeah, I you know to do it in Central Square, I'm not saying that i would not do it it was uh certainly not the it's certainly not the same goal or statement that i was trying to make and i can definitely see the difference so you're the two. right yeah you're reaching out with this activism and again you can watch the video at freekeen.com we'll post the link up on our facebook google plus and uh, twitter here in a moment love to hear people's opinion on this subject but the you know what you're doing it sounds like is you're and this was pretty clear to me this was a message to people who agree that you know the flag is this terrible symbol it's a symbol of the state symbol of violence uh symbol of war and it's I, know, I think it's inarguable that flags are uh, war banners i mean i think that that's an inarguable point well i think they someone become, would argue to say that uh it just it, it they believe the flag symbolizes freedom i mean that that's the counter argument there it's not what it's not about war it's about the you know uh, good guns uh, god guns and country and freedom and you know p- apple pie and fireworks and stuff like I that i think that's what they what what governments but, would want you to believe but like, yes historically north korea, they were carried in wars right north korea wants you to believe that their flag represents freedom mm mm-hmm. mhm Right, and and so I still have subscribers, viewers, readers that think there are comments on the video right now that, that you know the flag represents the country, not the government, yeah. and this sort of thing. And I mean, I and I have sort of still people who are uh, into Ron Paul or even moving into the Rand Paul realm now who are listening to what I say. I'd really like for those people to give up any idea that they're going to fix the state. I think that that's a terribly detrimental idea, and I think that one way to do that is to make Make them hate their flag because i hate th- i hate the flag i think if they hated the flag too if they saw what it represented and uh you know despised it the way that i do i think that the world would be a better place frankly <laughs> well i don't know if people embracing hatred will make the world a better place but i think that's uh <laughs> maybe a point that uh, we certainly will disagree on i don't like the flag i don't think it's a particularly pr- pretty flag uh you know i don't like what it stands for but do i you try have to, do you have a favorite flag i try to keep hate out of my heart i like the peace flag that we have here here in, uh, in the studio that <laughs> That's you can so see. Nice. Uh, on our I meant, uh, webcams. Is there a particular... You said that the flag, the flag, and I assume you're talking about the U.S. flag. That's the one that he shot and burned. Yes, thank you. I was talking about the U.S. flag. You said that it's not a particularly pretty flag, and I'm sort of asking, is there a country or state or province not flag that, that, you, of, no. that you like? Okay, so no, you just they don't all like do flags. have those nasty... No, I love this peace flag. It's right here in the back the, room. Uh, okay, a flag that... Uh, you're talking about I don't like countries' flags? Fabric that you hang from a pole is a little different than the fabric that you hang from a pole that a uh, group of the most successful 
uh, armed gang in a given geographic yeah. area claims as their own. Yeah, I don't Go- like armed gang flags. Governments are not exactly known for their pretty artwork, right? I mean, <laughs> yeah, sure. It's not their You got to say the Canadian flag pretty cool comparatively. It's newer. It's much newer than the uh, the US flag. And the Argentinians and the Uruguayans have that uh, that that sun, that smiling sun in there. I mean, who doesn't like a smiley face in your flag? So your event, Chris, was something directed towards the YouTube channel, the viewers getting clicks, views, maybe inspiring people to make the move to New Hampshire or whatever, whereas maybe Anarcho Jesse's event where he burned three flags in public was more for the libertarian macho flash spectacle of, hey, look how badass I am, and uh, et cetera, et cetera. There, there may have been some look at how badass I am in, true. in my video as well. And then, <laughs> and then the other thing, you know, the, the comments, what, what people are sort of noticing in, the, in that video is that I'm not exactly like a firearms expert either. Like people are just commenting all over about, you know, how poorly I handled these weapons, even though I did manage to hit the flag every single time. Mm. Um, and it did seem a little loose with the guns. But. Yeah, yeah. So that was actually my first time firing the, the Sega 12, mm-hmm. and I was a little scared, actually. I, I thought that this thing was going to kick like a mule. It's a 12-gauge that I was shooting. We'll come back with more. Hold that thought. Okay. Uh, more with Chris Cantwell. Your thoughts welcome. 855 450 free. Free Talk Live. Business owners, listen up. Give me an L. Give me another L. Give me a C. What's that spell? Incorporation. Protection. Success. Incorporate your business. L-L-C. If you're about to start a business, these three little letters can make the difference between making a fortune and losing everything. Because if you're not incorporated and someone sues your business, you can lose it all. Your home, your car, even your life savings. That's why LLC.com is now giving away a free incorporation guide to all business owners. So you can incorporate in just 10 minutes. Protect your home. Protect your car. Protect your life savings. Call 1-800-915-2955 for your free 10-minute incorporation guide from LLC.com. They don't provide legal or financial advice. They just make incorporating or forming an LLC quick and easy. Incorporation, protection, success. Incorporate your business. Call now for your free guide. 1 800 915 2955. That's 1 800 915 2955. Hi, this is Mark Edge, host of Free Talk Live. We've been witnessing a meltdown of the very economic engine that powers this country. With a printing press tethered to Washington politicians, bureaucrats, and central bankers. How can we put our trust in paper money? For years, I've been buying gold and silver from Midas Resources, and you should too. Come see gold.freetalklive.com or call 877-357-9938 for a free book titled 10 Reasons to Own Gold. With Washington, D.C. delivering more debt and printed promises, common sense tells us the future of the trend is obvious. Everyone listening should visit gold.freetalklive.com or call 877-357-9938. I trust Midas Resources for my gold, silver, platinum, and you can too. Again, I want you to have this book, and it's free. It's gold.freetalklive.com or 877-357-9938. 877-357-9938. Are you getting squeezed by the economic downturn? Hey, you were doing fine. Then, all of a sudden, you're having a tough time paying your family's credit card bills. Maybe you were downsized or even lost a job, but you still owe 10 grand or more in credit card bills, and you just can't afford the minimum payments anymore. We're here to help. We are the Genesis Debt Partners. We know the secrets to negotiate better terms with your creditors. Make a free 10-minute call right now and learn how we can help you get out of debt. 800-981-7590. If you owe 10 grand or more in credit card debt and you want to learn how you can pay less and get out of debt faster, call right now. 800-981-7590. 800-981-7590. Get out of debt now. 800-981-7590. Here's a chance to do a little activism while you're cruising Facebook, Twitter, or Google+. Between the LOL cats, the recipes, the hot girls, and the inspirational sunrise memes, Free Talk Live's posts pass by your newsfeed. Like them. Comment. It gives us more exposure. If you don't see our posts, click like at facebook.freetalklive.com and then hover over it to click Get Notifications. It's an easy way to spread the ideas of liberty a bit further. I know you're busy, but you can spare that tenth of a calorie it takes to click on something. Facebook.freetalklive.com. Are you tired of governments around the world killing innocent people? Stop using their money. 
There is an alternative. Bitcoin is a stateless, free market, non-political currency. Bitcoin is money that cannot be inflated or controlled by any state. By continuing to use their money, you're perpetuating the killing. Stop doing it. You have an incredible alternative available to you now. Learn it, use it, spread it. Get started with Bitcoin at WeUseCoins.com. It's WeUseCoins.com. You can sign up to receive the latest about the Liberty Radio Network via our email updates at updates.lrn.fm. That's updates.lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live, and you can bring up anything you want. Just dial in and toll free at 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. Join us via Skype. Our Skype username is lrn.fm. Joining you in the studio tonight, it is Ian, and we also have... Chris. And Mark. Chris Cantwell is joining us from ChristopherCantwell.com, also the host of Some Garbage Podcast. Is yep, that the name of that's it? that's it. How many episodes are you up to so far on that? I think I just did my 11th episode. We Still did, pretty fresh then. Yeah, huh? we did 10 in New York with my uh, my former business partner, Eddie, and then uh, I moved out of that office and we had sort of stopped doing it. And uh, Rapture came by the other day to do, uh, it was more of a sound check than anything else, but it was going well, so we ended mm-hmm. up making a two-hour show out of it. And cool. I'm going to try to start doing that weekly here. Excellent. And uh, yeah, you just moved into New Hampshire just a few weeks ago. It's, I think, been less than a month. At this point, you're back in New Hampshire, and uh, you know there's a lot of people who've left over the years, Chris, and they all say they're going to come back, but most of them haven't come back yet. Now, you know, maybe they'll show up in another decade or five years or something like that. But you know, kudos to you for actually making it back up here. Yeah, I, I, uh, some of them probably wait until it's, I don't know, is it until it's cool? Is that, is it like the trendy thing to do? Is that what they're waiting for? I don't, I don't know. know. I think you know, people just have different uh, paths that they're on in their lives, and they, you know, there's something calls them away. Young, young people, for instance, are a little more flighty. They're more likely to, uh, to go somewhere else for a little while. And, Maybe come back later, but you came back. Why'd you come back? Especially because you were kicked out of uh, the Free State Project. Actually, hold the answer to that question. We'll get back to it here, and we can talk more about the flag burning thing, too. I want to tell you about Passports for Bitcoin first. So go to PassportsForBitcoin.com. There are a lot of reasons why somebody like you might want a second passport or to renounce their citizenship. Last year was an all-time record for people renouncing U.S. citizenship, and that's done all over the world. Whether it's governmental intrusion on privacy or protest against foreign policy to protect your wealth, avoid pointless regulations or onerous uh, onerous taxation, or as a refuge, you might want to get a second passport or even change your citizenship. Check out the St. Kitts program at PassportsForBitcoin.com. And, of course, they take Bitcoin, which means that it's yet another way that Bitcoins can offer you more freedom. Passports for Bitcoin.com. So you were kicked out of the Free State Project last year, Chris. And um, it was interesting. Uh, you didn't come to the Porcupine Freedom Festival this year, although the Pork Fest security seemed to certainly think that you were there. That's a whole other story. <laughs> it's, it's actually one worth telling. Um, but I actually had a conversation with Larkin Rose uh, on the air about some of the issues uh, between you and the Free State Project and, you know, to, to sum it all up uh, in as short a time as possible, you were booted because of an article that you wrote that sort of alluded to the idea of using violence against the state. And you're pretty unapologetic about your opinions on that. And they asked you to rescind the article or correct, you know, change the wording somewhat. You didn't do that. And the, uh, the Free State Project board, not the members, the board decided to remove your Free State Project participancy. Well, yeah, that's a <clears throat> excuse me, pretty accurate description of what happened as far as why I came back anyway. I mean, I came here looking for freedom. It's a topic I take pretty seriously. I I'm, I'm, have to take on the state in order to accomplish that. So the state is obviously a, a pretty big obstacle to, to one who seeks liberty in their lifetime and if i'm going to take on that sort of obstruction to my freedom i'll be damned if the free state project is going to stand in the way of that mm-hmm. anybody who wants to try to prevent me from finding liberty in my lifetime is going to find that i am a i'm a pretty tough rival to conquer 
you know. So you thought you still want to be with a community of liberty-oriented people, whether or not the Free State Project is a factor is immaterial? I Well, the community of liberty-minded people is certainly a part of it, and most of the people that I come into contact with here actually like me pretty well. I'm actually pretty well-liked, despite some of what a lot of people might portray, a very In real life, you're not, much, you're not much like you are online, I've got to say. <laughs> well, there's, there's a certain amount of, you know, look, uh, Christopher Cantwell is a character mm-hmm. and a human being. As, as others have alluded to before. And the, the character's based on a true story. I mean, it's, <laughs> it's, it's actually happening. Like, I really am a really angry guy. I do think I have a lot of really legitimate reasons to be upset. I really do have a very dark sort of sick sense of humor, if you will. And this is all actually happening. But yes, I mean, I'm. if you interact with me in person, I'm really actually quite pleasant to deal with for the most part. Uh, <laughs> but in any case, so... Th- the community is certainly part of it, but I mean, just the fact I'm from New York, dude. I mean, I can open carry a gun here. I don't even need a permit to do that. I have one. How's that feel, by the way? It feels pretty good. It's a calming thing, really. You almost got arrested for it today, though. Not for open carrying. I don't. I don't want to discuss that. I should have said something to you about that. <laughs> <Oops>. um, <laughs> Um, but yeah, there was, there was a, there was a certain incident where I walked into a certain space where somebody was like, Hey, get that out of here. And there are only so many spaces where that can be said. Right. Exactly. In New Hampshire, there are only a few places you can't go with a gun. Right. So by process of elimination, you might be able to guess where that space was. Right. So, but for the most part, I don't believe, I don't believe their claim, by the way, Chris, I think that, uh, there's no sign saying there's no guns allowed. How would you know that there's no guns allowed? Obviously, I shouldn't say more than that, but there was no signage, no notice whatsoever. You were put on notice after you walked in there. but Right. So, yeah, I, I really, I'll, I'm happy to discuss this off the air. I'm a little no worried problem. about this one, frankly. So I, I wouldn't be too concerned about it. I that. probably shouldn't be, but I, I know that I'm going to become a target for law enforcement just for the things that I say on the yeah. on the internet here, and I'd really prefer to you know stay in compliance with their laws, and if I yeah, sure. make a mistake, then I'd prefer to uh, get that swept under the carpet as fast as possible. Um, and you apologize for it. And and actually, when I went in there, I said, I, you know, he didn't know. He actually asked me before he went in and I said, I don't I don't know. You know. Anyway, we'll leave that as it is. But that's what happens. You know, if you're an activist, eventually there's a good chance somebody's going to threaten you. Somebody in the state is going to threaten you with an arrest, even though and, and you're you know, you're pretty cautious. I mean, uh, you say things that are offensive to people, but you don't actually do much that's you know dangerous or st- stupid um uh you know as far as like i i complimented you in the article that i wrote at freekeen.com about how when we went out on the the peace march uh, a couple years ago during the memorial day parade here in Keene, that there was some guy who got up in your face and pushed you and was obviously trying to instigate some sort of physical encounter with you and you wouldn't have it you you kind of you backed that guy down not through violence, but through just simply de-escalating the situation. And so when when you had the chance to draw down and blast a guy for touching you, uh, you didn't, you know? Well, when, I, when I'm when i carrying a gun, I'm really not inclined to get into fistfights. You yeah. know, in New York, if somebody provokes me, I'm uh, probably a lot more likely to hit that person because mm-hmm. I'm, I'm afraid, right? Like, I'm like, well, you know, this guy might, you know, beat me up. When I have a gun on me, I'm like, I had better you know, de-escalate the situation before I have to shoot this guy because That's I don't want to get into a fist fight and then him take my weapon. You know, if I can't get into a fist fight with a gun on my hip, because then, you know, he might get my gun. So, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, calmer here as a result of being able to carry my weapon because I don't have to worry about as much. We'll come back uh, with more about your situation, Chris, here. We've actually got the pizza guy on the line in North Dakota. Pizza guy, you're on Free Talk Live uh, via Skype. Hello there. Hello, it's the pizza guy. <laughs> Hi, Cleaning lady again. And the accountant. And uh, Three people, we had, okay. We had, had uh, signed a, kind of some issues we were going back and forth with ourselves. And we thought we would bring Free Talk Live into the mix to kind of try to work it out. All right. Well, we'll see if we can help you with your issues. I don't know. You know, none of us are trained counselors, uh, but we are talk show hosts. <laughs> the advice an... is worth what you pay for it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we, uh, we are people with opinions, and we can share those. So stand by. We're going to come back to you here. And uh, your thoughts, certainly welcome, whether it's on the issue of burning flags uh, or... Whatever the pizza guy is going to talk to us about here in moments. 855-450-FREE. You take control of Free Talk Live. 
Listen up, all you preppers and survival enthusiasts. Sigma 3 Survival School has a brand new survival instructor training program that will teach you everything you need to know about survival and then license you to teach our survival programs so you can make a substantial profit from it. If you have always wanted to learn to be completely self-reliant and would like to make money at it, then check out Sigma 3 Survival School Survival Instructor Program at survivalschool.us or call 479-561-3886 today. Hi, this is Ted Anderson. If you'd like to listen to GCN programs on the go, I have great news. GCN has created a Droid and iPhone application, and it's free. Just as easy as going to GCNlive.com, click on the banner and download. Before you know it, you'll be listening to your favorite hard-hitting GCN shows, live or on demand, right on your Droid or iPhone, 24-7 and on the go. So download the Droid and iPhone app free by clicking on the banner at GCNlive.com. Thanks again for listening to GCNlive.com. Again, that's GCNlive.com. Free Press Publications is an independent alternative media and publishing company founded in June 2009 with the mission of ensuring a free press for the freedom movement and is committed to spreading the message of peace, freedom, love, and liberty. FPP also gives new authors an avenue for publishing freedom-oriented material. FPP brings you daily news and commentary at fpp.cc as well as weekly news in the FPP Freedom Minute and Peace, Love, Liberty Radio at fppradio.com. The monthly newspaper FPP News at news.fpp.cc and books at shop.fpp.cc. Find FPP online at fpp.cc. That's fpp.cc, as in Creative Commons. Liberty activists around the country are starting to realize politics alone won't set us free. So what will? At Liberty on the Rocks, we believe the answer starts with living your principles, spreading ideas, and connecting with those around you. By starting a Liberty on the Rocks network, you can make a difference by uniting libertarian thinkers. Find out how much fun it is to build your local network from the ground up. Visit libertyontherocks.org today to get started. So you've heard all three hours of the latest episode of Free Talk Live, and you're still hungry for liberty-oriented audio content? Did you know that we have another 24-7 audio stream at lrn.fm? The Liberty Radio Network airs the latest episodes of some of the best liberty-oriented podcasts on the internet around the clock. In addition to recorded content, you'll also hear live shows like Free Talk Live, originating from our Keene, New Hampshire studio. So listen anytime at lrn.fm. That's lrn.fm. On Free Talk Live, we're bringing people to the ideas of liberty every day. From wrestling superstars like Glenn Jacobs. You guys really are having an impact, I believe. Like I said, uh, a lot of where I am now is due to listening to Free Talk Live. You changed my mind on some very important issues years ago. To random people tuning in on the radio. I was kind of stuck in the left-right paradigm. I heard your show by chance on a Saturday night. From there, I went on doing the Free State Project and become an amplifier. So, I mean, that's really the reason why I amp is uh, because I know that if it wasn't for you guys being on as many stations as you are, I never would have found the ideas of liberty. Your amp will directly change more lives by getting Free Talk Live in front of people looking for talk radio online and on the air. Find out about giving to our Google AdWords campaign at amp.freetalklive.com. That's amp dot freetalklive.com What's up next? Visit the Liberty Radio Network program guide to find out at shows.lrn.fm That's shows.lrn.fm This is Free Talk Live and you can bring up anything just dial toll free 855-453. That is the Pro XPN toll-free line. And, of course, you can join us online by dropping into freetalklive.com and enjoying the features that are waiting for you on the site. Go to freetalklive.com and enjoy. And also, you can go to proxpn.com slash FTL. Learn about Pro XPN. It is a global virtual private network, and it allows your online data to be encrypted 
uh, meaning that your internet service provider will no longer be able to snoop on what you're doing online. They're probably keeping records, uh, in some cases, as long as five years of every search that you enter, every website that you visit. This information can be used against you. Uh, it can be used to sell you know, your info, and uh, there's no reason for them to have that information. You go to proxpn.com slash FTL, download their free software for Windows, Macintosh, iOS, Android devices, even Linux users. Uh, setup's a little different for Linux users, but you can get it working, and it's actually pretty simple. proxpn.com slash FTL. Go there, grab the software, and get started, and encrypt your data. Not only does it protect you from your ISP snooping on you, but it also protects you, let's say you're at a coffee shop, maybe on a, on a uh, Wi-Fi device. It'll make it so you're safer from people sniffing out your packets and maybe grabbing your credit card info or your bank account information. So it's very, very useful. Check out proxpn.com slash FTL. With you go with their premium package, uh, you get the unlimited bandwidth servers around the world that you can connect to and the ability to privately torrent and you can get it all for five bucks a month with our discount code ftl20 that saves you 20 percent off for the lifetime of your account so you can get started right now for free at proxpn.com ftl upgrade to the premium package with code ftl20 and keep in mind it's, it's a risk-free seven-day money-back guarantee you've got nothing to lose here except your privacy and ProXPN doesn't keep records of your online habits at all. So go to ProXPN.com slash FTL. As we go back to the pizza guy, he is with us here uh, on Skype and also with a couple of ladies on the line as well. Uh, pizza guy, what was on your mind tonight? Yeah, so we were having kind of a discussion. It uh, kind of branched out from one of my Facebook posts where what I said uh, in response to my transgender sister brother um what in kind of a vein of that i said uh if your goal is to individuate yourself why uh attach yourself to another group and think that you're so oppressed what life sucks and it's tough for all of us and so uh my japanese immigrant wife kind of agreed with me because she seems to say uh yeah i'm a woman i'm an immigrant Immigrant, I'm Asian, and I could make that all kinds of excuses for all kinds of things, but I don't. So, you know, so my wife agrees with me, but uh, my mother, the accountant, uh, is a lesbian, and she says, no, you have no idea how tough it is to be a lesbian. And so she tends to uh, kind of uh, favor my cousin, transgender, brother, sister, cousin person. So what we're trying to do is to rate on a scale of 1 to 10 how oppressed you, um, an anarch is an anarchist and atheist? Is that the term you used? Yeah, sure. Yeah. An anarchist and an atheist are well, uh, an com comparative to a um, lesbian, female, Asian. Is that right? No, 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 no. No, no. you're mixing so, the two women together. Okay, I, I just thought that maybe that's what we were, uh, you know, no. that was the the, the, it, the story. If if I've got it right, let me see if I've got it right, because it's we thrown it's a around confusing. a lot of different terms yeah. here, right? So there's the there's the lesbian, who is there's a lesbian, a transgendered person, separate people, and there is an Asian immigrant woman, right? And then there's the anarchist atheist gentleman. Is this is this correct? Yeah. You got it. Completely. So who's more oppressed? Well, so my whole point is um, life sucks. We're all oppressed. Get over it. Stop Stop affiliating yourself with a group and feeling sorry for yourself. Just live your life. My immigrant Asian wife agrees. My lesbian mother disagrees. Okay. What are you trying to call us for, though? What do you want from well, we're, us? We're supposed to give the rating. Okay, so first off, I'd like to but give— I want to clarify. What, what exactly are you looking for? Well, yeah. I, well, what, what do you think? Is, call the ball, is, Ian. Does life suck? Yeah, it's, call it's, the ball. Wait, what are you asking me that I think? Who's more oppressed? Is that the question? That's a good one. Yeah, is is it is it about who's more oppressed or is everybody oppressed and life just kind of sucks and you should let it all I go? I think life is a wonderful thing and uh, there's a lot to appreciate about it. Ian with the positivity always. Listen, yeah. life does suck, you're correct, sir. And, <laughs> and, and look, none of you are being oppressed based on your uh, your your gender or your sexuality. I'm not sure. I don't I'm not aware of any laws against transgendered people. I'm not aware of any laws against lesbians being enforced. Uh, I'm pretty sure, you know, immigrants have one thing going, you know, they've got 
got to go through the immigration system and stuff like that's that. That's pretty oppressive. The rest, the rest is markets, folks. And I mean, if people want to, but there are laws against atheists and there are laws against anarchists. And, I would and like there's to point laws that out. discriminating against <laughs> white people and men, and you know, there's. Uh, I'm sorry. Go ahead again. Who account is that? This is the account. There are laws against lesbianism, really, especially in our state. Yes, I could be sent to jail if I was actively known in my state. Yeah, I was going to say that. And I know that uh, there are, in fact, different, in some cases, ages of consent for homosexual activity as well. So I would like to say that, first off, the most oppressed person here is the uh, ex-convict. And uh, that's, that's you. That's me. But uh, no, I think that. Well, actually, it, all three of us have been to jail, but you've been to prison. I think it it shows up um, in the you know what is visible to people immediately. I can walk down the street, and I don't have. I, I I get out of speeding tickets all the time just because I look like the kind of guy that a cop should let out of a speeding ticket. Hmm. Um, I think that the way you look, especially transgendered, is a particularly difficult one. I I can only imagine what it's like to be stuck in a body that I don't think is mine, um, you know, for whatever reason. I, c- I can imagine that's really terrible. I don't know what it's like, um, and so therefore I tend to give those people a lot of sort of uh, uh, birth because I imagine that's very difficult. However, I would agree there's all kinds of minorities, and the uh, smallest minority is the minority of one. But I also think that if somebody can say, I don't like them folks there because of the way they look, that the— they get a special kind of discrimination. So I think lesbians dodge that one unless they have on uh, uh, the, the belt chain and a short haircut. Um, and I think that, uh, but I don't think transgenders do. The, the accountant does have a short haircut. So no, no wallet chain or whatever you talked about. And the haircut <laughs> that is short is not a dyke cut. Well, well you get, the one thing about older ladies is they tend the older ladies at some point come to a point in their the life, hair, yeah. yeah, that they're they want their sh- their hair like they want their men short and easy to manage, right? So <laughs> it's okay if you're of a certain age. I would have to agree. Are you yeah. saying old women like shorter men? <laughs> they just want their men easy to manage, really. Oh, okay. But it's funny to add the short in. <laughs> uh, I mean, have we brought you what you were looking for here tonight, guys? I'm not sure if we've. Everybody's complaining that they're being oppressed. I mean, there's not a group in this world who's not like, I'm being oppressed, I'm being oppressed, I'm being oppressed. And I think it gets really tired, frankly. I'd like to speak out for husbands. My God, well, the kind of work we have to do all the time, we're just, we're, we're practically work mules for the uh, for the. Yeah, for but the you patriarchy. get rewarded with sex. Oh, wait, never mind. Yeah. Oh, wait, never mind. <laughs> As a lesbian, I have to tell you, it's true. The women are a lot of fucking women. Oh, oh, we can't let you say that on the radio. Sorry, this is... Is not fun, an guys. internet radio show, <laughs> but uh, yeah. So she was saying something about women, and then she used the f bomb. So I yeah. really don't know where she was she going. She was with saying that. that they were a lot of work. Uh, As yes. a lesbian, she tends to agree that women are a lot of work. Got it. So she has a certain affinity for uh, for husbands. All right. Toll free number is eight fifty five four fifty free. But uh, so yeah. So you think life sucks, huh, Chris Cantwell? Well, look, life can be a beautiful thing, all right. I sure. mean, there's a lot of beautiful things about life, and they're right. surrounded by miserable, awful experiences like it's getting true. pulled over by the police and paying taxes and all sorts of terrible things that we have to deal with, interacting Being with people that we don't people? necessarily like and, you know, all sorts of, well, of you know, people saying nasty things well, to you. Well, how would you know what was nice if there weren't nasty things? That's right? really the point here, Ian, is that you can, what you're just saying is, oh, it's a lovely sunny day. And what Chris is saying is, you know what? It's also lovely you when it's know, raining. It's not lovely when it's raining. Yes, it is. You look up, you're going to get water in your eye. That's not lovely. <laughs> oh, um, poor <laughs> baby. Oh, however, eye. Have, however, if you wake up one morning and say, I don't feel pain, I really enjoy that, it's because you can only enjoy that because you had pain at some point in the mm-hmm. past. That's true. To experience that. The contrast is necessary to know what the differences are. 855 450 free and to choose your preference. When do I get the fun talk show? 855 450 3733. This <laughs> is Free Talk Live. One little joint supplement. You know, this powerful little pill is great for your joints. It even has powerful benefits to help increase your mobility and flexibility. But the joint supplements of today are sadly incomplete because they don't give you the joint relief you're looking for until now. Introducing the complimentary two-week sample of Instaflex, our most powerful joint formula ever. It's the number one selling joint supplement at GNC. The only thing our complimentary sample of Instaflex is missing is the price. Because right now, we're offering adults a complimentary two-week sample as part of a nationwide giveaway. 
Call and claim your sample today. 1-800-608-9424. Instaflex provides powerful, effective joint relief for your knees, hands, even your hips. Prove it to yourself by calling now for your complimentary sample. Instaflex is available at GNC, Walgreens, and CVS, but you can only get your complimentary two-week sample by calling 1-800-608-9424. Call now for your two-week Instaflex sample. 1-800-608-9424. Hey everyone, have you heard about the no-no hair removal device that's sweeping the globe? If you want to go weeks without shaving and get smooth, professional quality results, here's our favorite host Cheryl for no-no hair removal. Thanks. Hey gals, I love talking about my no-no. It's this cute little hair removal system that you can take with you and use almost anywhere at home or on the road. No more expensive in-office treatments, painful waxing, and no more wasting your valuable time. Got unwanted facial hair? No-no hair has patented Thermacon technology that works on all hair and skin colors. So it's perfect for using on all body parts. And now you can take advantage of this incredible risk-free trial. Get the No-No, the facial kit, a travel case, and a $100 discount shopping card. And you don't risk a penny to try it. Try the incredible No-No hair completely risk-free. Call 1-800-953-6062. That's 800-953-6062. 800-953-6062. Are you looking for an excuse to come check out New Hampshire this fall? You're invited to Keenvention. Keenvention is your chance to meet dozens of key liberty activists from across the Shire. You can explore the beautiful little city of Keene, discuss various forms of activism with seasoned veterans, do some Robin Hooding, and learn about making the move. Keenvention received rave reviews last year. If you missed it, visit keenvention.info for full video coverage of every speaker and panel. This year, Rich Paul is our first announced keynote speaker, and more are being announced now at keenvention.info. Join old and new friends and neighbors in Keene for Keenvention this October 31st through November 2nd. You can pre-order your tickets now for just $60 at keenvention.info, or you can pay with Bitcoin. Visit keenvention.info for more information and to lock in your tickets at the pre-order $60 price for the whole weekend. Visit keenvention.info for more. Or look for our page and event on Facebook. That's keenvention.info. DVD, books, music, instruments, periodicals, computers, software, electronics, photo, cell phone, office products, home and garden, bed and bath, furniture, kitchen, pet supplies, automotive, hardware, apparel, shoes, jewelry, grocery, healthcare, sports and outdoors, toys, games, used and more. It's a department store at your fingertips. Shop.freetalklive.com. Get all your shopping done, get a great deal, and a portion of your purchase goes to benefit Free Talk Live when you enter Amazon via shop.freetalklive.com. Shiny badges on your jacket. Shiny badges start a conversation with your neighbor or your doctor or your family or your school. Now there's teachers and lawyers and business executives and they all wear shiny badges and they all reject the state. Shiny badges on your jacket. Shiny badges show the world that you reject coercion and aggression and oppression by the state. Shinybadges.com If you enjoy LRN.FM, please contribute to your favorite shows via their websites and become an amplifier at amp.lrn.fm. That's amp.lrn.fm. Free. This is Free Talk Live, and we're inviting you to bring up whatever's on your mind. Dial in toll-free at 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. You can talk about being oppressed or whether uh, the world is good or bad or life sucks or if it's beautiful. Uh, Any topic goes here on Free Talk Live. Joining you in studio tonight, Ian here. Christopher Cantwell, anarchist, atheist, expletive. (laughs) And Mark. <laughs> ChristopherCantwell.com is his website. Our website's freetalklive.com. There's lots of great features up there waiting for you. Now, also waiting for you, your first Bitcoins or more Bitcoins. Maybe you've already bought some and you're looking to get some more and you want to get them fast. ExpressCoin.com can help you out. Actually, they're doing more than Bitcoins now. They're doing Dogecoin. They're doing Litecoin, Blackcoin, and Darkcoin. You can get them all through uh, using a check, wire transfer, money order, even cash deposit at uh, the credit unions that have what's called shared branching. 
So they make it so easy to get Bitcoins. ExpressCoin.com can help you out, and they're really focused on customer service. Uh, go to ExpressCoin.com, grab their smartphone app if you want to grab that, and you can get started there, or just do it through their website, ExpressCoin.com. And the $40 deal, as I understand it, is still in effect, meaning that if you buy less than $40 worth of Bitcoins, you pay no transa uh, transaction fee. There's no cost to you on top of the actual cost of the Bitcoins. If you go over 40 bucks, it's a 3% transaction fee, which is an awesome fee. I don't think you can beat it in the industry. So go and check it out at ExpressCoin.com. Uh, as we continue here, in fact, let's go to your phone calls and thoughts. We've got Daniel on the line in Pittsburgh. You're on Free Talk Live, Daniel. Daniel? Uh, hi, how's it going? Hey, you're on the air. What's on your mind? Yeah. Hey, so uh, I was uh, just thinking the other day, I was hearing some ads on your show about passports for Bitcoin. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, I've thought about that. I've thought about that kind of thing before. Uh, you know, renouncing citizenship and stuff like that. And I was just wondering if you guys, I don't know if any of you have ever done that or if you know what it's like. Um, I don't know, you know, and if also, you know, how much success, you know, if people reject their citizenship as opposed to renouncing it, it does that normally work? Uh, what do you mean by rejecting like, your I just citizenship? Know what you guys, well, you know, instead of formally renouncing it and you know paying the taxes and whatever couldn't you just say well i don't want to be a citizen that's I'm how i do it personally i, I mean I, i'm with you daniel i think that uh, they're going to have to prove i'm a citizen if they want to claim that i'm a citizen and i don't think they can prove it because many court decisions have been made saying that uh there's no obligation to protect you there's no obligation to provide you with any services and so therefore to me that nullifies uh the definition of citizen which is one who owes a duty of allegiance in return for an obligation of protection there's no obligation to protect been certified by the supreme court multiple times in multiple cases so therefore there can be no citizen so to me if you want to claim or if the government guys want to claim that i'm a citizen the burden of proof should be on them uh to prove that but nonetheless the passports for bitcoin thing is useful because whether you believe in citizenship or not getting an extra passport the could well, be very useful. But the government believes in citizenship, um, and all of them do. It's essentially the new slavery. You are their tax uh, animal, your tax livestock, and that's what you do. You create money for them if you work with inside their geographic boundaries or they claim you or whatever their, their set of rules is. So as far as they're concerned, you must have a brand. It can be a you can switch brands, but you must have a brand. Uh, it's like you couldn't move to Antarctica mm -hmm. and say that I am a citizen of Antarctica. Well, and now hold on. I mean, there is the uh, the world passport thing too, and the guy who purports that or uh, propose, I guess, promotes that he claims that it works, although he's gone to jail a few times over it. So yeah, well, if you're going to jail, it doesn't sound like it's you know the the, the best of all strategies no. possible. And I and I would point out also that. Uh, citizenship is not a prerequisite of uh, demanded obedience by a government. You know, yeah, if, these, if you live within their arbitrary geopolitical boundary, they will hold you accountable to their laws, including their taxes. Oh, so I've tried to tell them, I, whoa, whoa, what, how'd you get jurisdiction over me? And they don't care. You yeah, know? they do they not care. That. And there's and there's people out there on the internet who will say that by renouncing your citizenship that you gain all these benefits. And while you're within their arbitrary geopolitical boundary, that is not the case. So, I mean, mm -hmm. if you go overseas and you earn money, I believe that your citizenship is then a liability because then the United States wants its money you. and the UK wants its money or wherever you happen to be. So, I mean, that's that's where you can benefit is if you go overseas and then you renounce your citizenship, you might gain something from it. But if you're within the arbitrary geopolitical boundary of the United States and you renounce your citizenship, then I don't know exactly what benefits you gain from citizenship, but uh, you will lose them and gain nothing by renouncing it. Right. You you have to, I think you have to be, make about a hundred thousand dollars a year outside of the u.s and essentially intend to come back uh, want want to have the ability to come back in order to uh you know pay these that, that's the, then this tax burden is upon you um the saint kitts program i in, in order to get citizenship the thing i looked at there they have a couple of options but the most expensive is essentially buy a four hundred thousand dollar piece of property hmm. and i think that's if you have a family um and then you'll be uh, then go through their little process and you'll be a citizen. I, I don't, that, don't quote me on this. This is what I looked at the one time that I sort of looked you at it. You didn't go through with it. No, I'm not going to go through with it. I don't I don't think that I, it wouldn't. It's not for you. Yeah, it's, it's, it's not really sort of made for me, but I think that having a second passport is an entirely different situation. Yeah. If you want to 
you know, get out of uh, Do you need the to US. buy a house for that, though? That's no, no, not at all. Okay. That's no, good I enough. mean, a passport, if you have a second passport, and I don't know exactly how that works, but I mean, there's a Passports lot of... Passports for Bitcoin.com. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So, I mean, that's the, there's definitely a benefit to having, you know, a second passport. Absolutely. Um, it can't be revoked as easily, right? Like, if the U.S. wants to revoke your passport, I had a passport at one time, and then they sent me, you know, or it was actually time to renew it, and I looked into renewing it, and it was like one of the requirements with renewing the passport was you had to consent to your name being sent to the treasury so they could research you and you know determine whether you owed them something or whatever and I, I, you know i don't want to make any other contracts with the federal government when i first got my passport i didn't have the same principled you know viewpoint on things that i do today and so i decided i don't want to have any agreements outstanding with the federal government i don't want to consent to this so i'm not going to renew the passport well and, and of course when you make a, agreements quote unquote with the federal government those are not Agreements, right? This True, is, this they, is are coercive, under coer but, they are under coercion, but I don't like putting my name on a line if I don't have yeah, to. Yeah, I, I can, I can understand that, and I mean, I don't know um, what if any relationship they they have with passports for Bitcoin, but I, I know, I know Jeff Berwick at the Dollar Vigilante, they they do a lot of like the expatriate stuff, and mm -hmm. and they will help you with uh, what he become what he calls becoming a PT or a perpetual traveler or perpetual right, tourist move or prior just, taxpayer, where you move just often enough to avoid residency requirements. And things. He, like yeah, that. and and there's you know a lot of you know benefits involved in that, but that gets extremely expensive. So I don't know uh, unless you're sort of like a, a millionaire or something like that might not necessarily be the best course. Daniel, of have we uh, kind of addressed your question appropriately, or do you have anything else? Um, yeah, no, that, that was all. That was all really helpful information. Uh, one thing I was I was kind of thinking though was what um is it does it make it any more difficult to live in the US? I mean you I know you said it's not going to get you out of laws or taxes or anything but um does you know, what like, renouncing citizenship a driver's license? Right, if you renounce it um that would like, make can things you still more get difficult. a driver's license or Okay. Yeah. Well, you'll have okay. a driver's okay. license from wherever you are um and you can drive on that uh, in the United States. But could you renew? What as, do you a mean? Non, as a non-citizen? Renew what? A driver's license. Your, your United States driver's license? Yeah. You wouldn't have a United States driver's license. You would have a driver's license from wherever you were. Um, oh, I'm from, sorry. His question was, would it make things easier if you're in the United States and you renew, and you renounce citizenship within the United States? Make things more difficult. Is, my yeah. answer is no, that would not think, make things more easy for uh, you. I had a friend who did this, and you know, you're know, you going to have to do a certain level of traveling. You're going to have to stay at certain uh, places for a certain period of time. You know, Government citizenship, to, to for better or for worse is tied to geography and uh, you know they want you to be you know in different places at different times so I think that yes uh, it will certainly you know cause a certain level of problems but it depends on whether it's worth it for you you should uh, go to this you know go to passportsforbitcoin.com and start researching um, through the St. Kitts program and see whether you know see whether that is for you. Daniel, thanks for the call tonight, man. Appreciate hearing from you, and good luck out there. I don't want to do a renunciation of citizenship because, first of all, I think it'll put you on somebody's radar. And, again, I don't want to interact with the government in unnecessary ways that I don't have to. And, secondly, I don't believe I'm a citizen in the first place. So how can I renounce something that I never embraced in the first place? That's something that doesn't exist. It's just an idea, and it's a false idea. Yeah, and I went through a lot of, if you will, the sovereign citizen stuff, right? Oh, yeah, like I've been through that, too. to uh, Michael Bednarik and Creditors in Commerce, and I listened to probably hundreds of hours of audio mm, and hundreds okay. of pages of text and stuff like that. And some of the things that they tell you, like, sound really good, that, like, you're going to drive without a driver's license, and that's yeah. going to be totally cool, and the police really aren't going to shoot you on the side of the highway if you disobey <laughs> them. Mm -hmm. And that's not how things work. Right. <laughs> you know, this is a violent criminal organization that demands that you do what they say, and if you yeah. don't, they will kill you, and there's no paperwork that you can file to change that. That said, there are some heroic people who do drive without driver's license, it's just you got to be willing to go spend a few nights in jail over it every, here and there and every now and then when they catch you for yeah. it. Yeah. Uh, but, you know, Jay Noon, for instance, is someone who does not have a license and he's been driving his whole adult life. So those people do exist. We need more of them and they should be in New Hampshire. We're coming up. Hour two's on the way. Free Talk Live. Kid, if something in this facility breaks, bends, or bursts, Granger's got our back. 20 cases of disc springs from Granger.com, new rotary encoder, ordered on Granger's mobile app. A dozen splash goggles from the local Granger branch. What more could you want in life? Granger has over one million products for all our facilities' needs. One million. That's a one followed by six zeros, kid. Everything we need whenever we need it. Get it? Got it? Good. Call, click Granger.com, or stop by. Granger, for the ones who get it done. 
Do you remember when summer road trips meant loading up the family in the car and playing hours of I Spy and license plate bingo? I found Alaska. America's Best Value Inn invites you to share stories and photos from memorable summer trips now through September 15th at americasbestvalueinn.com. You'll be entered for a chance to win free stays at any of our 1,000 hotels, gift certificates from TA and Petro stopping centers, and other fun prizes. Share your memories and make your own this summer at America's Best Value Inn. I Spy and ABVI. Do you love coffee as much as I love coffee? Here's a delicious way to drink the best of the best coffee and make a difference one cup at a time. We've partnered with Comano Island Coffee Roasters to offer BuzzBox Coffee. And you can try a pound for free. All you do is cover shipping. It's organic, shade-grown, top 1% Arabica grade. 10% of future purchases help our efforts to give the gift of human freedom through at least 100 microloans via World Vision. For more information, go to coffee.freetalklive.com. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. It's my firm belief that Free Talk Live's AMP program is the best use of your charitable dollar among liberty-oriented organizations. Support all the organizations you love. But make sure you give five bucks a month to AMP at amp.freetalklive.com. You're listening to the live edition of Free Talk Live. Hour number two is next after the news here on the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. From Keene in the Shire, the Liberty Media Capital of the World, this is Daryl W. Perry, host of FPP Radio News for Monday, July 7th, 2014. Silver is trading at $21.01 per ounce. Gold is valued at $1,316 per ounce. And according to BitcoinAverage.com, the average price of Bitcoin is $627. Antiwar.com reports, Israel has arrested six suspects in the kidnapping and murder of Palestinian teenager Mohammed Abu Qadir, identifying them as the men shown in the surveillance camera video that caught the kidnapping. Israel's state censor is keeping a strict gag order on many of the details of the case, but the six were said to be Jewish suspects, including settlers from the occupied West Bank. Police did, however, say that they believe the same six were behind an attempted kidnapping of a younger child in East Jerusalem the previous night before capturing Kader on his way home for morning prayers. One of the six is said to have confessed to his role in the killing, and while details of what charges they face have not been made public, Israeli officials have made it clear that they want to make an example out of the killers and are planning to try them as terrorists. FPP Radio News is brought to you by Roberts and Roberts Brokerage. For over 35 years, Roberts and Roberts has been a trusted source for buying and selling your investment grade precious metals. They now take Bitcoin for purchasing precious metals so you can turn your profits into a long term investment. Call Roberts and Roberts today for knowledgeable advice on investing. 800 874 9760. Reuters reports a Jeddah court sentenced prominent Saudi rights lawyer Walid Abu al Khair to 15 years in prison on Sunday on charges that included seeking to undermine the state and insulting the judiciary, according to a state news agency. Abu al Khair had been on trial on sedition charges that included breaking allegiance to King Abdullah, showing disrespect for authorities, creating an unauthorized association, and inciting public opinion. The rights activists was also fined 200,000 Saudi rials, approximately 53,000 US dollars, banned from traveling outside of Saudi Arabia for another 15 years, and had all of his websites closed down. Apart from Sunday's conviction, he had been sentenced by a Jeddah court last October to three months in jail for signing a petition in 2011 against the imprisonment of a group of activists demanding political reforms. Abu al Khair, the founder and director of an organization named the Monitor of human rights in Saudi Arabia was critical of a new anti-terrorism law passed by Saudi Arabia at the start of the year, which was widely condemned by rights activists as a tool to stifle dissent. The anti-terrorism law states that terrorist crimes include any act that disrupts public order, shakes the security of society, or subjects its national unity to danger, or obstructs the primary system of rule or harms the reputation.
reputation of the state. In the past year, Saudi authorities have been criticized by international rights groups for jailing several prominent activists on charges ranging from setting up illegal organizations to damaging the reputation of the country. The world's top oil exporter has regularly dismissed criticism of its human rights record by Western countries and campaign groups. FPP Radio News is brought to you by Coinbase. Coinbase is a simple and secure online Bitcoin wallet for sending, receiving, and storing Bitcoin. Coinbase also allows you to buy and sell Bitcoin using a bank account or use their tools to accept Bitcoin as a merchant. Opening a wallet is quick and easy. And for merchants, there are no transaction fees on the first million dollars worth of transactions. Get started at coinbase.fppradio.com. That's coinbase.fppradio.com. USA Today reports, don't bring dead phones or laptops to those overseas airports for flights heading to the U.S. Department of Homeland Security officials warned last week that security would tighten at airports where flights head directly to the U.S., but without providing much detail about how the scrutiny would change. But security officials said on Sunday that the attention is focused on explosives that could be disguised as electronic devices. The Transportation Security Administration issued a statement Sunday saying that as part of its routine screening at the overseas airports with direct flights, checkpoint officers may ask owners to turn on their devices, including cell phones. Devices that can't be turned on will not be permitted on flights, according to the TSA. Travelers may also undergo additional screening, such as pat-downs. This has been FPP Radio News, online at fppradio.com. Police in Lehman, Michigan, describe a local student's recently foiled plans to commit a deadly school shooting as, quote, embarrassingly bad. Authorities apprehended 17-year-old Trent Bayer Thursday after finding him in an empty hallway struggling to load a pathetically small caliber pistol while simultaneously attempting to unfold an inaccurate map of the school. Lehman Police Chief Ethan Holman elaborated several ways Bayer's strategy could have been more effective, including setting off a homemade explosive in the teacher's lounge, executing popular students first, and at the very least, purchasing some military fatigues. You're not going to intimidate anyone by wearing a tucked in button down shirt uh, and uh, pleated trousers. In other news, a jar of change on a dresser is sadly factoring into a number of financial decisions. A teen zebra doesn't give a shit how much you honk, it's not getting out of the road. And dad's new 20 year old Thai boyfriend really sucks at scategories. And don't forget to never ever drink Pepsi Cola, whose dipshit marketing team backed out of a full page ad buy at the last minute. For more news, visit theonion.com slash newsbeat. talk live here we'll take your calls about whatever's on your mind you can dial in toll free 855-450 free that's 855-450-3733 and you can join us online go to freetalklive.com enjoy the features that you'll find there including the main feature which allows you to create the content when you find something online that you think's interesting you want to share it with us with you want to share it with other listeners you just submit it there as show prep Right over at freetalklive.com via our Reddit-based system. You do need a free Reddit account, and you link that account to your free Free Talk Live account. It makes it easy to submit content. And then other listeners can vote on what you've submitted. You can vote on what other listeners have submitted, and then we will find out what you think is interesting at freetalklive.com. Joining you tonight in the studio, it's Ian here. Chris. And Mark. Chris Cantwell joining us here on our third mic as our guest co-host. I uh, expect Derek J. will be returning next week, so thank you for coming in and sitting in, Chris. Been... I'm so happy to do that. Thank we, you. We've got news and stuff to talk about here, too. Uh, we can also get back to, I, I, I was going to say something about Larkin Rose uh, and your banning from the, the Free State Project. But let's get a little bit of a uh, little bit of info out here to you. There's a couple of stories. One of them is actually an update. Because I think we talked about this originally. Gary Harrington from CNSNews.com. Gary Harrington is the Oregon man who's been convicted of collecting rainwater and snow runoff on his rural property. Surrendered Wednesday morning. Uh, excuse me, this is actually an old story. It's a good thing this they got that years. guy. I mean, 
This is actually from a couple of years ago. But anyway. You thought it was new? <laughs> he, uh, so, well, I remember the story, right? And I thought this was an update on it. Uh, I remember us talking about that, but I didn't remember him going to jail. It was one of those. I remember us reporting it as though it were it was still in the kind of the legal process. But it's he amazing report- that people might go to jail for rainwater 30 collection. days. He went to jail for 30 days. That's all? In Medford, Oregon. Are you shocked? You think it? Uh, you I mean, it he be- was collecting rainwater, Ian. Yeah. How does this government <laughs> let people get away with this in 2014? Raise taxes. <laughs> we don't have enough room in the prisons anymore. <laughs> the revolving door of the justice system makes me sick. <laughs> the... I, I obviously everybody who has land collects rainwater, right? I mean, you know, it soaks into the land. Mm. Look at all that rainwater you're I'm collecting. Sh- I'm sure it's written as uh, it can't be collected in a man-made or placed basin of some sort. I wonder about that because I have uh, done what they call uh, permaculture, right? Um, at, on my property, we have uh, sort of gullies and ditches designed to make water move more slowly uh, through my fruit trees and berry bushes and these sorts mm-hmm. of things. And, um, I, you know, I mean, is is this the collection of rainwater? We don't really have the problem with uh, rainwater collection up here in New Hampshire. The stuff's just rolling off mountains, going into creeks and that kind of thing here. He says, I'm sacrificing my liberty so we can stand up as a country and stand for our liberty. He told a small crowd of people gathered outside of the Jackson County, Oregon jail. Uh, Several people held signs that showed support for Harrington as he was taken inside the jail. He was found guilty of breaking a 1925 law for having what the state water managers called three illegal reservoirs on his property. He was convicted of nine misdemeanors, sentenced to nine misdemeanors, sentenced to 30 days in jail. and One fined, for each water storage bin, of course. Uh, and fined over $1,500 for collecting rainwater and snow runoff on his property. The Oregon Water Resources Department claims Harrington has been violating the state's water use law by diverting water from streams running into the Big Butte River. Harrington says he's not diverting the state's water, merely collecting rainwater and snow melt that falls or flows on his own property. He's vowed to continue to fight the penalty, stating the government has become big bullies and that, quote, from here on in, I'm going to fight it, unquote. I'm also curious what they, when when they say collecting rainwater, what do they mean? Do you think I am not going to release this water? Even if he collects the water, gives it to his cows, and the cows pee, pee the water still... Flows. Yeah, that's a great point. He's only slowing the flow of water. Right. <laughs> I mean, that's all he's doing. It's ridiculous. How much am I allowed to slow? Because that's what I do with my horticulture stuff. Can can I? I've made little ditches, and you know, the water moves around back and forth rather than sort of straight down. Uh, how slowly can you cause the water to move? I, I have been thinking about approaching the Keene City Council, actually, about uh, passing a law here in Keene about collecting air. People just leave <laughs> their windows and doors closed, you know, to try to keep their, I guess, their air conditioning in. It's mm-hmm. greedy, it's selfish, and they shouldn't be allowed to collect air. I love trolling uh, the city council. I think coming up with stuff like that is great. <laughs> um, actually, I think somebody should propose banning alcohol sales in and possession in Keene because they banned synthetic drugs in Keene with like a, about a year ago in a 15 to 0 vote which is technically illegal but you know governments they do whatever they want to do um in new hampshire it's not a home rule state so you're the towns and cities are only supposed to do what they're legally authorized to do and they're not authorized to make blanket prohibitions on things but you know they did it anyway so with the idea of being protecting the children well you know children are getting hurt by alcohol on a regular basis in in Keene, new hampshire and all around the world so somebody should with tongue firmly planted in cheek i think uh, make the proposal to uh, totally ban alcohol the only problem is if it comes from ian freeman they won't take it seriously but if there was like some motherly looking person out there who brought it in front of them, I bet they'd assigned it to a committee and they'd have a, f- a full hearing on it. And then it would be very interesting to watch the city council members, many of whom actually drink alcohol, make all kinds of excuses. Isn't as one to of why, them an owner of a bar? <laughs> um, he used to be. Okay. They'd make all kinds of excuses as to why this, whoa, we can't ban alcohol in Keene, but synthetic drugs, that's fine. I, I would be very entertained by that. I love trolling the... System. This sounds like a job for Minarchist Mike. I, I may have to uh, pull him out and ask him to <laughs> that's go one of your to the city council. Yes. <laughs> so I, I want yeah. small government, except for this issue that's really important to me. Yeah. yeah. Right. Exactly. Alcohol prohibition. I mean, it worked out pretty well the first time. I don't know why they ended it. I mean, <laughs> you know, got all that alcohol off the streets, and it then they were just like, off. "Hey, let's get drunk again." Like, 
I don't understand it. Share your thoughts at 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. The guy in this case, Harrington, says, uh, quote, they've just gotten to be big bullies, and if you just lay over and die and give up, that just makes them bigger bullies, he said in an interview with CNS News. And I agree. You know, I totally agree. Um, I think that the reason why we have nonsense like this and all kinds of laws and regulations and controls on our freedom is because... For the most part, Americans are fine with it. Yeah, they just roll over and take it. Now, right. I wonder when he thinks that the government became big bullies is is a curious thing to Probably me. Probably as soon I, as they picked on him for the water. Yeah, exactly. I, I find this a lot, and this is something that like annoyed me about the Cliven Bundy situation out in Nevada, too, is that he thinks that the, the government has this role to play in everybody else's lives, and then as soon as they want to tell him not to go and uh, send his cattle out onto some commons, that all of a sudden it's a big problem. And mm. people only seem to care when it happens to them and all too frequently not even then unfortunately yeah i mean a lot of times that's exactly the case but a lot of people do come to the ideas of liberty and i mean you know the whole package after they've come into contact with the government being unfair so um i mean that's one of the one of the the paths to liberty well i mean it's not to say we wouldn't take them when they're ready to come sign up uh you know join the, the liberty movement um, not that there's any sign-up process, but it doesn't show the most rigorous, uh, you know, academic understanding of the ideas of liberty. Well, uh, that's that's that. what happened to me, frankly. I mean, I got arrested for a victimless crime, and my my head went through the roof. And then I started studying for the defense of the case, and I said, "Wow, this government doesn't much resemble this Constitution that I was taught of at all." And and it did like lead me down a a larger path, and as opposed to becoming like a drunk driving activist you know, <laughs> for it's me, not a I, very popular thing to fight yeah. for for me i didn't uh i didn't have to get arrested i knew the specter of arrest was out there when i, when I was a teenager and my friends were trying to talk me into smoking marijuana for the first time i was very very afraid and paranoid about that because i knew what could happen right like i knew there was violence out there but until i actually was ready to become a marijuana smoker it never really confronted me in any meaningful way like what does it mean oh yeah i knew about the swat teams and i knew about the war on drugs and i knew about all that but i wasn't a drug user at that point so it wasn't a concern to me but once i was became interested in cannabis then i realized that this is a risky thing to do and they're putting people in jail for this and that's when i started to learn more about how terrible the war on drugs really was and ultimately found out the government itself was a terrible uh, the state is a terrible idea we'll come back with more you can share your thoughts 855 453 that's 855 450 3733 take control here on free talk live and maybe you think rainwater collection should be banned we sure would love to hear from you i don't think you exist though free talk live one little joint supplement You know this powerful little pill is great for your joints. It even has powerful benefits to help increase your mobility and flexibility. But the joint supplements of today are sadly incomplete because they don't give you the joint relief you're looking for. Until now. Introducing the complimentary two-week sample of Instaflex, our most powerful joint formula ever. It's the number one selling joint supplement at GNC. The only thing our complimentary sample of Instaflex is missing is the price. Because right now, we're offering adults a complimentary two-week sample as part of a nationwide giveaway. Call and claim your sample today. 1-800-608-9424. Instaflex provides powerful, effective joint relief for your knees, hands, even your hips. Prove it to yourself by calling now for your complimentary sample. Instaflex is available at GNC, Walgreens, and CVS. But you can only get your complimentary two-week sample by calling 1-800-608-9424. Call now for your two-week Instaflex sample. 1-800-608-9424. Gold isn't for you? Ted Anderson, president of Midas Resources, one of the world's premier gold and precious metal investing firms. I get it. You wouldn't buy gold if you believed that the government is doing a great job, that the Fed will stop handing out trillions of dollars like bailout candy, that Social Security would be there for you. That's not what's happening. You might even pass on gold if the stimulus package wouldn't fuel inflation, or that the dollar wouldn't lose value, or that your retirement would be secure. If all looks rosy to you, then now is not the time to buy gold. For the realists, there have never been more sobering reasons to diversify with gold. Since 2001, the U.S. dollar index has tanked 30% while gold has risen 300%. Right now, savvy investors are adding gold to their portfolios. You should, too. Find out what they know. Call us and I'll send you 10 reasons why gold will do very well, free. 800-686-2237. 800-686-2237. That's 800-686-2237. 
After months of struggling to find their footing, it looks like the GOP has finally found an effective spokesman. Since Republican leaders unveiled the reanimated corpse of Ronald Reagan at a fundraising event last week, the undead former president has quickly emerged as the new face of the Republican Party. Since Reagan was brought back from the grave by GOP leaders in a top-secret $2.2 million reanimation project, poll data shows Reagan with a higher favorability rating than all other high-profile Republicans combined. The voters know Reagan. They trust Reagan. When he moans at them, they're going to listen. And there's questions as to whether he still has capacity for thought, and he does uh, eat people. But big picture, he's the best option they have right now. And appeared in a series of GOP ads promoting the Republican Party's traditional values. Congress and the president say they're trying to help fix our country's economy. Ronald Reagan and the Republican Party have the right idea for America's future. This is the Onion News Network. You can listen to Free Talk Live on the radio, podcast, satellite, webcam, and our live streams. But did you know you can listen to Free Talk Live from any phone, anywhere? Add this number to your phone, 213-493-0308. It's a long-distance call, so make sure you're familiar with your phone's calling plan. The Listen Lines are airing the latest episode of Free Talk Live 24 hours a day, including our live shows. Call 213-493-0308. That's 213-493-0308. This is the Central Scrutinizer. I steal your labor by force through taxation. My job is to spy on you and keep you from hearing things like the Freedom Fiends. I especially do not want you to torrent Freedom Fiends episodes to keep them drone-proof. Do not go to freedomfiends.com and click on the torrent link and learn how to torrent Fiends archives. Do not go to freedomfiends.com and click on the torrent link and learn how to torrent Fiends archives. Do not go to freedomfiends.com and click on the torrent link and learn how to torrent Fiends archives. You can watch the LRN Studio Cam and chat with other listeners anytime at cam.lrn.fm. That's cam.lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live, and you're invited to take control of the airwaves or just sit back and relax and listen to the show. It's up to you. We'll talk to you about whatever happens to be on your mind. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE, and you can join us via Skype. Our Skype username is lrn.fm. Just send a contact request. It will be approved, and you can talk about whatever you want to discuss. We're going to get back into your phone calls and thoughts on whatever you want. But first, I want to tell you about how to get a free pound of some of the best coffee out there from BuzzBox. It is shade-grown, 100% organic, and top 1% grade Arabica. Seriously good coffee, and you can get a free pound just by paying the shipping cost. Go to coffee.freetalklive.com to get signed up for their program. The first pound is free. Uh, then you'll get an auto ship of a another pound after that. And you can actually adjust the frequency of the shipping of those uh, deliveries, so it's completely customizable to your coffee drinking habits and preferences. Go to coffee.freetalklive.com. And a BuzzBox is competitively priced with other high-end coffees, but they do something special that other coffee producers just don't, they're not interested in, apparently. BuzzBox has set up a co-op, and they're allowing people around the world to buy into it. Plus, they're teaming up with Free Talk Live and World Vision to help finance microloans for people around the world living in rare, very tough parts of the world uh, to help them get a better life for themselves by you know, getting themselves a hand up instead of a handout through a microloan. You can help us with that by going to coffee.freetalklive.com. All you have to do is order your favorite coffee, and uh, the, every 10 Free Talk Live listeners that do that funds one microloan to help somebody out. Yeah, when you get the free pound of coffee, there's uh, the they have like two you can choose from. Mm-hmm. They're both great, and they're both delicious, but after you get the you know the two free ones, then after that there's a whole variety of different types of coffee. So the options coffee. open up. And gotcha. for the decaf drinkers out there, I've got to say they have this water decaffeinated process that uh, you know many many high end coffees uh, use, but uh, not all of them do. That's what makes me feel better about it because when your coffee's decaffeinated with water, you know it's not as kind of uh, scary as them using whatever chemicals they may use to decaffeinate it. How do you decaffeinate coffee with water? I I put water through coffee all the time, and then I end up drinking a bunch of caffeine in the process. I don't know. Okay. Well, we're going to meet you Kaku on or something and figure this out, because that's confusing. Someone knows. Let's go to the phones, to the fun. Rob's in Virginia and on Free Talk Live. Hello, Rob. Hey, how you guys doing? I'm calling about the the rain 
Yeah. In my jurisdiction, they charge me for the rainwater that falls on my land. What? How does that happen? They don't try to jail me for collecting it. They charge me because... Um, evidently, there's some sort of governmental cost to dealing with the discharge of water. It's your social so, contract, buddy. Regardless, hold on. How does that work exactly? <laughs> how do they charge you? How do they know? How do they uh, measure the rainwater that uh, falls on your land? I mean, is there some sort of reporting device, or do they have a guy walk around reading uh, rain me- rain gauges? They just charge you by the square foot footage of your property and then the impervious surface. But, I mean, if you have a lake and all the water on your property drains onto that lake and stays right there, or if your whole property is, you know, one big giant slope that just runs right into the river, you pay the same amount. Awesome. It's 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 the impervious uh, part of the property. So if you have a building with, like, say, a, a large roof or something like that, they're mm-hmm. taxing you extra is my understanding of it. Is that right? Right, but it's but it doesn't take into account any measures that you might, t- you know, if you just have the water running out into the street, going right into the sewer drain, there's no difference than if you impound it all and have it all managed. It's just another reason uh, for a tax. The the excuse yes. the excuse that, that they're using is that because of the impervious surface, that it's it's putting an extra, um, it's putting extra strain on the drainage system. So you is, get taxed more. If you've got a concrete yard or something like that, is what you're saying? Yeah, and and so like that's the excuse they use. I'm not trying to give it any legitimacy. Yeah. I'm just trying to understand yeah. it. I mean, this is actually the first time I've ever heard of this. So, like for instance, I hate grass. If I had torn out my uh, my grass in my yard and paved it over with concrete, I'd have to pay more in taxes. In this place, yeah. In this, in where, and you said that's all of Virginia. No, no, just in my locality. Oh, okay, okay. We, we do have a special problem. We do have a special problem. Our sewer system is about 100 years old, and, it, and the, the the rainwater goes into the sewage system. So if you get a big rain, it overwhelms everything. Mm-hmm. We're having to pay hundreds of millions of dollars because of an EPA mandate. So it's sort of a, it's sort of like a stuff running downhill, if you will, from Washington. Well, I mean, wow. also, uh, you you weren't around for when, you know, 100 years ago when the sewer system was put in, and you didn't make any decisions as to how good or bad the sewer system was, so it's interesting that, you know, we have to pay for these things later. Which, yeah, is just well, hilarious, it was, too. It be- was the art. Go ahead, Cole. I'm sorry. So it was state of the art 100 years ago, but, you know, I mean, it, it, hey, another place I used to live in, Virginia— um, we had all these federal mandates that came down. I was on one of the governing boards, and, and federal mandates came down for water quality, and we had a canal that diverted water out of the river to a water plant and then back into the river. And we we had to spend $20 million to build a new plant because we were putting sticks and mud that came out of the river back in the river. I mean, it's, when you have mandates from Washington, it, it – it's just crazy. Well, yeah, because these people are so totally detached from what's going on in your community, and they're just like, hey, we're uh, 535 guys, uh, you know, however many number of miles away from here, that we think that we know what's best for everybody. So we're going to use violence and coercion to impose this upon you. So how does the rainwater tax get collected? Is it uh, part of the property taxes? Where's the bill come like from? It. Yeah, it's collected with your utility. So it's just like for the water and sewer service that, that hmm. you actually do receive. Wow. That you, you're paying for something that you actually get. You actually have to pay for what God sends onto your property. Amazing. Thank but you, Rob, for your call tonight, right. man. I appreciate hearing from you. The toll free number is 855 450 free. They, they can just tax anything. Well, it's, it's completely unreasonable. I mean, like a farmer would use far more of the water. Uh, impound it for longer than just somebody who happens to, you know, I'd love to have 11 wooded acres or whatever it is and, you know, has this surface that water falls on and, and you know, they get taxed for it. It makes no sense. It's completely unfair. It's, it's, I'm going to, I'm going to play devil's advocate here and I'm going to say it, there's a, there's a, method where this can make sense is just unfortunate that the government is monopolizing this service. I mean, if you're yep. using the if you're using the sewage system more than somebody else, Should I don't have a problem with you paying more for the usage. So, so if you have less impervious property on your land, right? If your land is more impervious as in the rainwater goes down into the dirt, well then you're making less use of the drainage system. If you're making more use of the drainage system, I don't have a problem with people paying more for the usage of the draining system. The problem mm-hmm. I have is that the government has, you know, obviously uh, created a 
drainage system that is not sufficient for the people in sure. this area and is now because of their failure they're charging more whereas a market would step so up so true and, and it's true with uh with like you're, you're from new york so i mean you're certainly familiar with the toll booths the ridiculous prices that they charge uh we saw the situation in london a few years ago where they started to lock down uh, people they started to charge ridiculous rates for people to come into the city the idea being that the central planners have failed at creating roads that can handle the traffic that is demanded to be on those roads and their solution rather than fixing the roads of course is to well let's just increase the price and make it so people can't afford to come into the city anymore exactly i mean it's new york city is absolutely out of control with the tolls and i don't mind paying tolls of course but i don't have a problem with the usage fee but i have a problem with the fact that i'm taxed and then i'm charged on top of it to use it it's crazy well plus don't they usually pitch a toll road with the idea that eventually the tolls will go away once the road's been paid for that never happens <laughs> more coming up here 855 450 freeze the toll free number 855 450 you can bring up whatever's on your mind 10 ways you're making your life harder than it has to be coming up question could too many gmo foods and toxins be overloading your digestive and immune systems answer yes if you're searching for a powerful detox that's gentle enough to use every day use pro em1 from terraganics pro em1 is a powerful liquid probiotic that uses good bacteria to suppress pathogens and gently eliminate toxins from your body a healthy digestive system will cleanse and remove toxins support weight loss improve absorption of food nutrients and aid in controlling yeast and other infections pro em1 is made with only non-gmo and certified organic ingredients has no preservatives and is dairy soy wheat and gluten free pro em1 is the key to your digestive health Order Pro EM1 Daily Probiotic Cleanse at Terraganix.com. Spelled T E R A G A N I X.com. Or call toll free 866 369 3678. That's 866 369 3678. Also available through Amazon Prime. Pro EM1 from Terraganix. Life's getting better. What if the key to achieving liberty in your lifetime was to move together with others who think like you? Liberty activists are joining the Free State Project, which is over 70% of the way to its goal of 20,000 participants. And they're already making the move to New Hampshire. The successes are piling up and are proving the Free State Project is a real movement and no longer just a great idea. When you're planning your move, consider Keene. Keene is famous for its civil disobedience and non-cooperation, and there's plenty of political opportunity as well. From demonstrations and vigils to outreach and volunteering, there's a lot going on in Keene. Keen is the liberty media capital of the world, with television, talk radio, and more, all originating here. Though it's more than just activism, with regular social events each week. See what's happening at freekeen.com and get connected with video, audio, free books, a forum, and activist tools you can download and use in your area at freekeen.com. That's freekeen.com. Ross Ulbricht was arrested by the FBI in 2013 and charged with victimless crimes in relation to allegedly operating the Bitcoin-based Silk Road black market. He has been in a prison cell awaiting trial ever since. If he did it, he's a hero for making the black market a safer place. If he did not, he's a man wrongfully accused. Either way, if you love freedom and want to end the war on drugs, Ross and his family need your support. You can learn more and help fund his defense at freeross.org. That's freeross.org. Did you know that you can listen to and watch Free Talk Live during our live show seven days a week from 7 to 10 p.m. Eastern via our studio cam at cam.freetalklive.com? Not only that, but you can also chat with other listeners at the same time. Do I need to mention that both the studio cam and chat room are totally free? Outside of Free Talk Live's live hours, you won't see a cam feed, but we'll hear audio from the Liberty Radio Network. So listen, watch, and chat all free at cam.freetalklive.com. That's cam.freetalklive.com. My name is Angel Rach. I'm a mother of two teenage children, and I fought all the way to the Supreme Court for the right to use the medicine that saved my life. I've been permanently disabled for 10 years with an inoperable brain tumor, wasting syndrome, and several other serious conditions. For four years, I was in a wheelchair in so much pain, I couldn't even hug my kids. The hardest part was looking in their eyes and seeing how much they were suffering because of my medical condition. The medicine that gave me my life back and gave my kids their mom back was cannabis, also known as medical marijuana. With medical marijuana, I can walk, maintain my weight, and I can be a mom. Without it, my doctors believe that I would die. 
To learn more about medical marijuana, contact Marijuana Policy Project at 1-877-JOIN-MPP or on the web at mpp.org. You're listening to the best Liberty-oriented audio streamed around the clock, on the air and online. This is the Liberty Radio Network at lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live. We can take your calls about whatever you want. Just dial in toll-free at 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. And we've got Skype. We're going to go to Skype here in just a moment. We'll take your calls on Skype at username lrn.fm. The North American Bitcoin Conference. This is the first Bitcoin conference that's going to be held in the Midwest ever. And I think it's going to be probably be a very big event. At this point, obviously, we don't know exactly how many people are going to show up uh, with Bitcoin events. It tends to be at the, at, the, at the door because oftentimes people want to hold their Bitcoins until the very last moment to see what they're worth, that kind of thing. But um, it's shaping up to be quite an event. It's Chicago's McCormick Place South Building, July the 19th and 20th, coming up very, very soon. And all kinds of speakers are going to be there that are going to be worth seeing. Tony Gallippi from BitPay. Roger Veer, Bitcoin Jesus, is going to be there. Charlie Lee, the creator of Litecoin. Jeff Berwick, the dollar vigilante, is going to be there. Flip Filipowski of the Peace Action Network is going to be there. Peter Smith of Blockchain.info. Christina Gorlick of Cloud Hashing. Jeffrey Tucker of Liberty.me. Just it's gonna it's a huge lineup. I was just looking at the speakers today, and I couldn't even begin to to scrape the surface. They've got a huge lineup, and you're gonna learn a lot about bitcoins. You're gonna meet a lot of contacts. Uh, you know, people that are wanting to get into the Bitcoin economy. Those are the kind of folks that should be there. Anybody who's got a business in the Midwest that's thinking about ta- taking Bitcoins, this would be a great place to learn how. I know that their uh, Tony Gallippi from BitPay will uh, will uh, you know make it easy for you. It's btcchicago.com to and you can pay in bitcoin obviously to get your tickets btcchicago.com all right continuing here going right to your phone calls and thoughts and then coming up we'll share some of the 10 ways you're making your life harder than it has to be according to thought catalog, uh, thoughtcatalog.com first tara is on the line with us here tara where are you calling from you're calling us on skype hi i'm calling from austin texas well hi tara what's on your mind tonight Hi, I just have a few questions about recording the police, and I know you're okay. fairly experienced with this. Yes, uh, yes, I am. And Cantwell, I believe, is also likely pretty experienced. I know a thing or two about cop blocking. All right, go ahead. <laughs> Great. Well, uh, this this most recent Independence Day, as we like to call it, I encountered several, um, you know, arrests and and police pulling people over, and I wanted to record. However. I felt a little nervous mm-hmm. for a number of reasons. I did have some incriminating substances with me, and mm-hmm. I wasn't really willing to put myself out there. So what what advice do you have for people who want to hold the police accountable? Well, okay, so what? Let, tell me a little more about your circumstance. So you're in Austin, Texas. Were you in Austin at the time? Were the substances you were talking about on your body? Were they in your car? Where was your car? Where were you? Give me a little more info. Sure. So I was walking the streets, just enjoying the night in in, mm-hmm. in Austin. Were you and alone? The substances Sorry were to interrupt. Were you alone? No, no, no. Okay. And uh, so, you know, I would just be walking and I would see the red and blue flashing lights. And I decided, well, you know, I better record some of this. But I also didn't want to get too involved because I knew that if I did, I would most certainly invoke a reaction from the police and possibly get myself into a lot of trouble and uh, wasn't sure if I was quite ready for that. In which case, if you did get in an arrest situation by, let's say, an uppity cop who wanted to teach you a lesson for being a dratted cop blocker and holding him accountable for his actions, then he finds the substance on your uh, person that is going to make things worse for you. So, oh, yes, it is. Um, I would say the right thing to do in that case would have been to what you did, which was not 
uh, insert yourself into that situation. Unless, you know, if you go out with the intention to do cop blocking, then a good idea would be to not have substances on you so you would lessen the uh, potential risk up front of what might happen. And there is a chance, you know, as we've discussed uh, many of times here on Free Talk Live, you never know what's going to occur when you record the police. Well, you want to have people with you recording you recording the police. That helps, um, too. That's not just a help. I mean, that's almost a mandatory unless unless jail time is what you're looking for. Uh, if you're outside of New Hampshire, yeah. I don't recommend uh, this kind of uh, activism. Lots of people do it. I've met them. I think that they're brave and all that stuff. But, uh, you know, many of them have been to jail, too. Yeah, I'm going to oh. go ahead and concur that if you have anything illegal on you, you do not want to tangle with the police because they obviously have been known to say, shall we say, bend the rules from time to time. Mm -hmm. I mean, they're supposed to have certain mm -hmm. criteria under which they search you, and sometimes they get a little loose with that. I can't claim to be too familiar with the police in Oxford in Texas, but clearly if you are drawing the ire of police officers, they have a tendency to try to look for things to charge you with, and if you have something illegal on you, well, there, there's your invitation. Well, and I can't say I've never been, uh, I've never caught blocked with substances in my pocket. <laughs> I mean, I've certainly done it, but uh, I'm also here in Keene, New Hampshire, where the the police tend to be a little bit better with uh, being recorded. They're more used to it here. They're not uh, as upset by it as many police in certain jurisdictions who've never experienced it before. Uh, but yeah, better to be safe than sorry uh, in general, unless you live here in New Hampshire. Then throw caution to the wind. And I think you're probably <laughs> a little bit more comfortable with the idea of going to jail than, than maybe your average uh, That's probably American. True. <laughs> yeah. I mean, once you get yeah. arrested a few times, it's not a big deal if it keeps happening. Um, sure. You get used to it. But yeah, I mean, ideally, you shouldn't want to get arrested. You shouldn't, you know, be arrested for recording the police. But that doesn't mean you won't be arrested because, again, they'll do whatever they want to do. And even if it was it, even if it turns out that the arrest was illegal, as it turned out with Carla Garrick, the president of the Free State Project, recently with her win of fifty-seven thousand dollars in a fifty-seven thousand dollars. But after how many years? After years, and uh, with my win in Palmer, Massachusetts, for five thousand uh, dollars for them confiscating my video camera and arresting me. Uh, you know, it's possible to turn it into something later on, but that doesn't stop the inconvenience of, you know, getting arrested, possibly missing work the next day, and who knows what other consequences could come. Because, you know, sometimes if you get arrested and your job is really finicky about things like that, they could fire you just based on the arrest, even though you weren't actually convicted. <gasps> oh, you're you're someone who's been arrested? Well, we don't want to associate with someone like that here at this place of business. <laughs> so it can be risky and dangerous. But the good news is you live in Austin. And from what I understand, there's a fairly decent liberty contingent down there in Austin. Do you network with those people at all, Tara? Yeah, actually, I, I, I do. I'm actually um, a big part of a campaign here of a gentleman who's running for a libertarian position oh. for the state uh, house. So I'm definitely involved with that circle. And I okay. have the resources. I have the people who are willing to support me. Uh, I Great. was just a little hesitant this past holiday as I wasn't as prepared as I should. Should have been. It to, sounds like you've uh, assessed your. Blocking. Yeah, it sounds to me like you've completely assessed your situation right. You weren't prepared for it, and you didn't do it, and that's I think the right choice to make in that in that circumstance. Um, so prep up, you know, grab uh, grab your smartphone, install Bambuser, B A M B U S E R. Make sure you get that app installed and up and running and tested. You know, try it out, make sure it works. That's an app that'll allow you to stream video to the internet. Oh. It also records it to your phone at the same time, so you've got okay. the stream to the internet and a hard copy on the phone in case your phone is confiscated. It should still be online. It's a very handy uh, sure. piece of software. Also, grab a camcorder. You know, get that ready to roll. Charge up the batteries. Sure, and, and I'll be. I'll. I was just gonna say, and also call your friends. You know, call your uh, your buddies there in the Austin area and say, hey, I'd like to go out on Saturday night or Friday night, whenever is a good night for the police to be harassing people. Uh, you you know, make some plans, set a time, set a place to meet, carpool out, and uh, and hit the streets, and then I think you're gonna have a much better experience. Yeah, sure. Thanks a lot. I do appreciate that because I'm something I'm definitely looking forward to doing here in Austin. Great. Anything else you want to share tonight? I think that's all. All right. Thanks for the call, Tara. Appreciate hearing from you. 855-450 free. Yeah, I think uh, cop cop blocking or whether it's, I guess, in cop Austin would probably too. be peaceful streets or whatever. 
uh, it's something that I recommend people be prepared for before mm-hmm. they go ahead and do it, especially if they haven't done it before. I mean, it's it's a it's an experience that can be scary. The police will confront you and threaten you, and oh yeah, you have to you have to really be prepared for it. So if you have something nagging in the back of your head, like a, a bag of weed in your pocket, I mean mm-hmm. that'll not only subject you to uh, arrest possibly, but it's also going to throw you off your game of being confident and able you to know stand you, up to the bully. Right, because you know you can't push it as far as you might otherwise be able to push it. Exactly. Right? It's important for you to have that confidence when you're dealing with the police because they smell fear on you and they will take advantage of it. Yeah, and I, I'm glad you also mentioned other people, like, going out with somebody who has done it before could be useful. I mean, having just a bunch of newbies is better than being alone, but having somebody who's done cop blocking has recorded the police before with you to help kind of show you the ropes, that could also be invaluable. 855-450-FREE. That's the toll-free number you can share your experience with uh, recording police or whatever's on your mind. Free Talk Live. Business owners, listen up. Give me an L. Give me another L. Give me a C. What's that spell? Incorporation. Protection. Success. Incorporate your business. L-L-C. If you're about to start a business, these three little letters can make the difference between making a fortune and losing everything. Because if you're not incorporated and someone sues your business, you can lose it all. Your home, your car, even your life savings. That's why LLC.com is now giving away a free incorporation guide to all business owners. So you can incorporate in just 10 minutes. Protect your home. Protect your car. Protect your life savings. Call 1-800-915-2955 for your free 10-minute incorporation guide from LLC.com. They don't provide legal or financial advice. They just make incorporating or forming an LLC quick and easy. Incorporation, protection, success. Incorporate your business. Call now for your free guide. 1-800-915-2955. That's 1-800-915-2955. You've been lied to. Lied to by corrupt Washington politicians and the Wall Street propaganda machine. My name is Brett Kitchen, and I want to give you a free copy of my Inc. Magazine best-selling book, Safe Money Millionaire, because Wall Street's 401k and other investment plans have failed millions of Americans. After losing 35% in my IRA in the crash several years ago, I said enough. Since then, I've discovered an IRS-approved way to safely grow my money up to 12 to even 17%, cut taxes dramatically, but also have my money protected when the next crash comes. Call now to talk with a specialist to discover this little-known strategy to potentially build a million-dollar tax-free retirement income, get potential 12 to 17% returns, and never lose when the next crash hits. Call 888-885-8820 and discover this tool that people like Walt Disney and J.C. Penney used to safely grow rich. Plus, get one of just 97 free books left. We even cover shipping and handling. Call 888-885-8820. 888-885-8820. Again, that's 888-885-8820. Since time began, tyrants have taken aim at personal liberties. Now there's a movie that aims back. The government has no more right to tell us what to put in our bodies than they have to take our guns or tell us what books we can read. Six drug police were eaten by bears while raiding a marijuana farm. On your knees, you dirty hippies! Jesus. On your knees! What's the problem, officer? Today, many cops who enforce pot laws do so only because it provides them with cushy jobs, good benefits, and a chance to push people around. I was an undercover narcotics officer. The drug war is nothing but a farce. The Second Amendment says you gotta keep you and your gat intact. Guns and Weed, The Road to Freedom. A film by Michael W. Dean and Nima Vidati. DVD available now at GunsAndWeed.com or on Amazon. That's GunsAndWeed.com. Makes the perfect gift. Remember, that's GunsAndWeed.com. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. You likely buy all kinds of things online. Amazon is the largest online retailer. You can get what you need at the same prices with free super saver shipping by going to shop.freetalklive.com. Please do your online shopping at shop.freetalklive.com. There's a treasure hunt going on at mathgate.info, a Bitcoin treasure hunt. You can find Bitcoins by proving theorems. So learn some logic, do some math, find some Bitcoins. Even better, mathgate.info is designed to be used anonymously. So connect to mathgate.info through Tor, prove some theorems, find some anonymous Bitcoins. Don't wait. Others are already searching for the Bitcoins. Go to mathgate.info today and join the treasure hunt. There are anonymous Bitcoins to be had for the taking 
at mathgate.info. While our satellite channel is free to listen to, it's not free for us. You can help us cover our satellite costs with the chip-in on the right side of the page at lrn.fm. Free. This is Free Talk Live. Take control toll-free here at 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. You can join us online at freetalklive.com and enjoy the features that are waiting for you on the website. Go there. We've got, of course, the Free Talk Live YouTube channel. You can go to youtube.freetalklive.com. That'll take you right to it. For those of you who might want to watch the video version of the show, you can do it live at cam.freetalklive.com anytime during our live show, which is 7 to 10 at night Eastern Time, Monday through Sunday, seven days a week. But later on, if you want to watch the video version of the program, you can go to youtube.freetalklive.com. Almost every show for the last few months has been posted up to the YouTube channel. There's a, Every now and then we'll have a technical difficulty that will prevent that. But of course, you can always go grab the, art, uh, the audio version of the show anytime over at freetalklive.com. But again, the YouTube channel, it's another way for you to get Free Talk Live. You can also download the shows, edit them, do whatever you want with them. I don't care. Make your own videos out of them. Find embarrassing picture, you know, freeze frames of, of faces we're making while we're talking. Eh, you know, have fun with it. YouTube.freetalklive.com as we go to your calls and thoughts. David in California you're on with Ian, Chris, and Mark. Hello, David. Yeah, hey, Al. Uh, you know, I was I heard uh, some discussion about the uh, Bitcoin uh, conference coming up, and the um, I, I'm very into alternative currencies. I'm a big fan of Ralph Nader, and he's been talking about time dollars and all sorts of different things for years. But the um, the thing that uh, kind of bugs me about the way that the I, I think you were mentioning that people don't do their transactions until the end of the day because they are kind of looking for uh, some some knowledge of where the, uh, I guess, the fixed price is going to end up no, that's at not the end what of the Mark day. Was saying. No, it's, it's really about, um, so Bitcoin's been volatile. Uh, it can go, I don't know where it's going to be next week. It could be worth $100 more. It could be worth $100 less. And so what people right. tr try to do is to try to mini minimize what they – um, perceive as a loss by spending fewer bitcoins because they think that maybe it's going to go up by you know a week and a half from now or whatever it is. But what you were talking about, Mark, wasn't sure. that they were waiting till the end of the day. They're not to waiting till the them. end of the day. They, they were waiting. waiting to. You were giving an example of a convention that was happening a few weeks down the road and saying that rather than someone buying a month in advance or two months in advance, they're hoping their bitcoins will become worth more and waiting until the actual event to uh, to buy their tickets. That's what you were saying, correct? Yes. Which, of oh, course, doesn't okay. make sense oh, okay. because they could because go down, right? Like, you know, it's it's just a gamble. Them not buying a big you – know, if they right. buy their tickets uh, a month in advance, buying them then versus waiting a month, it's just a gamble. Maybe they'll go up. Maybe they won't. Yeah, the, the whole thing with Bitcoin, I mean, it's such a volatile market, and it's, it's extraordinarily difficult, if not impossible, to predict. I mean, it's emerging, and we don't know exactly what's happening, mm -hmm. and there's mass psychology involved in really any kind of investment – and that sort of thing, but I guess if you if you part with it at the moment of entry, then you have the uh, what's the word I'm looking for? The confidence of knowing that you got exactly what you paid for. I know mm. I I paid for things in Bitcoin and then watched the price double in the evening that I spent the Bitcoin, which yeah. drove me crazy. <laughs> it's frustrating. Well, where I was going to go with this, I, I, historically, if you look at at alternative currencies, because almost every famous uh, and, you know, nation and, and uh, section of the world has gone through these uh, these alternative currencies, I, and and the uh, the speculators are usually the the reason why the the currency fails. Because if you were to look at it, if you were just a farmer, right, and you wanted to to loyally pay for you know like the continental dollars, uh, those were very uh, speculative. When the when it looked like the British were going to win, the continental dollar wasn't worth a thing, and that's why George Washington was freezing at Valley Forge. But then when it when George Washington won, then all of a sudden the value of the continental dollar rose again. So if you were to look at it. As if you were a farmer and you, the only thing that you had uh, going for you was whether or not you had floods, droughts, uh, blights on your crops, you couldn't take any risks of fluctuating currencies. Currencies You had to have stability. Well, and so when you have people that are speculators, they're the 
reason usually why the uh, the currency fails because you 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 want your bread and butter transactions to happen, but when those are are constantly wildly uh, fluctuating, then you can't plan a book. The the reason currencies like the continental fail is because they're government issued fiat currencies. You know, the Bitcoin, the continental was being inflated, and that was made worse when the British started sending over counter uh, counterfeit continentals, and that was an, uh, an effort to disrupt the American war effort against the British. That they were like, well, we'll screw with their currency because, of course, the currency racket is more central to governments than a lot of people would like to let on to. So that that's why the currencies fail because there's more and more currency. We don't. We don't see that in Bitcoin. They're gonna, there's going to be, I think, a maximum of 21 or 22 million Bitcoins in circulation mm -hmm. for all of eternity. And there's no inflation. But um, the other thing about Bitcoin is there's a huge amount of innovation in the marketplace around websites that are taking in. They're, they're offering all kinds of different services around Bitcoin. And I wouldn't be surprised if there's some kind of leveling service, uh, a service that – and I believe BitPay actually does – do to some extent a leveling service for businesses when they do their transactions. So you know, businesses can accept Bitcoin well, and people can spend them, but they don't take the businesses don't take the risk that you're referring to. David, before you go on, Mark, I, it bothers sure. me when you say there's no inflation. That's not true. There's a set yeah. inflation rate. There's no with government Bitcoin. inflation. I'm sorry. Okay, so yes, there is inflation with Bitcoin. It will continue to inflate <coughs> until they get to 21 million of the bitcoins. Then it will stop. At least that's the plan. But at the well, that's. Uh, and unless 51% of the miners decide differently, and I think that that's pretty unlikely. Isn't it true that right now there's uh, one company that could control 51% of the mining and that they voluntarily gave up 3 to 4% just so they wouldn't be able to be claimed to do something doing like 51%? that? So there's some concerns there. Yeah, I think. agreed. Yeah. That's the, one of my you know, well, complaints you're, about you're, Bitcoin is, has sort of been that, that it, it would seem to me that it's it's – it's manipulatable because of the, uh, if you will, the small size of it, right? So there's going to be 21 million Bitcoins in circulation. I don't know how many there are now. I 12, wouldn't be surprised 13. to find out that a lot of these fluctuations were being caused by an entity like the Fi Federal Reserve buying up and selling Bitcoins in order to drive us all nuts. David, go ahead. Well, and, and again, you know, the stability. If you wanted to, you know, if you were just a small businessman and you really liked the idea of it, and you wanted to set a five-year budget plan, but then all of a sudden there's this wild speculation. You can't hang to your budget. So that's, the, uh, that's why those alternative currencies have had trouble in the past. And it's, it, you know, if there's some way that it could be kept stable, then people can keep to their budget. Yeah, I know that's where you're coming the, uh, from you know, uh, there, David. I, it, like, for instance, yeah. you can't budget to pay a staff member in Bitcoin a certain amount of Bitcoin every month because that's it, it varies too widely. But you can still tag the Bitcoin uh, yeah. amount that you're paying to the U.S. dollar and, and say, I will pay you $500 a week or whatever in Bitcoin. And then it then it's fine. Then you just change the amount of Bitcoin that you pay every week. Thanks for the call. Appreciate hearing from you tonight. Right. When you think about the North American Bitcoin Conference, uh, uh, currently, tickets are $100 for the event. If they would have uh, pegged their price to Bitcoin, uh, okay, let's charge uh, 0.1 Bitcoins for the event. Um, and so that's about 60 something bucks. Whatever. Right, I'm right just now. coming up with a number. Yeah. Um, so, you know, when they started it off, and then we'll move, move it up to, you know, 0.1. Two five point one two five uh, by you know the end of the event or whatever. So they you know they do the same thing that they normally do, but they peg it to the price of the Bitcoin because it's a Bitcoin conference. Well, then if Bitcoin doubles and or triples in value in the amount of time, nobody's going to want to pay that. They're, they're going to be like, whoa, this is really an expensive ticket now. Yeah. Don't you want to raise it? Well, lower it. Well, no, we want to make our prices in Bitcoin because we're about Bitcoin being a currency. Yeah, but it's really worth this in dollars. You Currently, need to be about your customers and yeah. treating them how they expect. Currently in the Bitcoin world in America, we all speak uh, uh, U.S. dollars, yeah. you know, in the same way we speak English. English may not be a perfect language. It is the one, however, that I speak. And until we can uh, ev evolve to Esperanto 2.0, I will speak English. And, um, you know, with Bitcoins, I speak dollars. I like Bitcoins as a currency, mm -hmm. but you can't price things in Bitcoins at this point. Yeah, unfortunately, pretty much everything that we deal with is priced in dollars. I mean, even to try to peg it to the price of silver would be a difficult thing to do. It, and, and silver doesn't fluctuate all that much, of course. You know, not, not nearly as much as Bitcoin does, but we still have to sort of price things in dollars because at the end of the day, we might trade in Bitcoin and silver at a place like Porkfest or within our own community here. But when we go to Market Basket or Pathmark or any number of other places, we're going to have to buy things with dollars and we have to be able to rationally budget as a base on that. 
Toll-free number tonight, 855-450-FREE. Coming up, the 10 ways you're making your life harder than it has to be. Now, I don't know if we'll have time to get through all 10 of these things, but I do enjoy myself a good top 10 list, self-improvement. Uh, of course, Chris Cantwell is here with us, and he's all about self-improvement. This is a guy. I think who... I'm going to end up bashing this article is probably what's going to happen. <laughs> this is from Thought Catalog. I'm trying to remember if I hate Thought Catalog or not. <laughs> I might. Yeah, I can't I'm, say no, for I'm sure. Thinking, I'm thinking Thoughts on Liberty. That's the, the thing that I hate, but I'm probably going to hate this article and say nasty things about it. Yeah, I don't think I necessarily agree with all 10 of these, uh, so we'll see as we go through here. At, at, I just like a good top 10 list, so we'll hit that Ian's up. going to end up cutting my mic. You can take control. <laughs> Toll-free number 855 <laughs> Four fifty. You and I get along, Chris. It's me and Mark that we have the issues. Hour three is on the way here. This is Free Talk Live. You can take control of the airwaves. This is the Central Scrutinizer. I steal your labor by force through taxation. My job is to spy on you and keep you from hearing things like the Freedom Fiends. I especially do not want you to torrent Freedom Fiends episodes to keep them drone-proof. Do not go to FreedomFiends.com and click on the torrent link and learn how to torrent Fiends archives. Do not go to FreedomFiends.com and click on the torrent link and learn how to torrent Fiends archives. Do not go to FreedomFiends.com and click on the torrent link and learn how to torrent Fiends archives. Ross Ulbricht was arrested by the FBI in 2013 and charged with victimless crimes in relation to allegedly operating the Bitcoin-based Silk Road black market. He has been in a prison cell awaiting trial ever since. If he did it, he's a hero for making the black market a safer place. If he did not, he's a man wrongfully accused. Either way, if you love freedom and want to end the war on drugs, Ross and his family need your support. You can learn more and help fund his defense at FreeRoss.org. That's FreeRoss.org. How many lawyers does it take to change a light bulb? None. They'd rather keep their clients in the dark. There are too many lawyer jokes to count. However, there are some lawyers with more noble intentions. At the Institute for Justice, we bring the light to our clients. We are a nonprofit public interest law firm with clear values and principles. At IJ, we fight for those whose most basic rights are denied by the government. Visit our website today at ij.org. If you want to know the latest about Free Talk Live before we go on the air, all you need to decide is how you want it delivered. It's your choice. Visit news.freetalklive.com. You can get emailed announcements and participate in contests via our email updates list. Plus, we have a Twitter account that you can follow and a Facebook page where you can become a fan. So visit news.freetalklive.com to get news about Free Talk Live as soon as it's announced and the way you want it delivered at news.freetalklive.com. That's news.freetalklive.com. You're listening to the live edition of Free Talk Live. Hour number three is next after the news here on the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. This is the Liberty Beat, your daily source for Liberty News and activist updates. Online at thelibertybeat.com. I'm Brian Hagan with your Liberty Beat for Monday, July 7th, 2014. Gold open today at $1,322. Silver open at $21.18, and Bitcoin is trading at $628.85. Support for Liberty Beat comes from GrowYourOwnGroceries.org, now offering an eight-week course where you can learn to treat the most common family ailments with simple medicines that you can grow or easily find. Learn more, GrowYourOwnGroceries.org. And support comes from Bitmain Tech, creators of the newly released Antminer S2 Bitcoin Miner. One terahash and only 1,000 watts. Order yours online today at bitmaintech.com or give them a call at 844-BITMAIN. That's 844-248-6246. In the news, on Saturday, the kidnapping and murder of a Palestinian teenager sparked protests in Israel. The Palestinian attorney general claimed the boy had been burned alive. This is reportedly the latest of several kidnappings since June 12th. At the funeral for the teen, a group of Palestinians threw stones as Israeli police fired tear gas, stun guns, and rubber bullets. The Israeli police arrested six suspects on Sunday. According to leaked code for the X-Keyscore program from the National Security Agency, users of Privacy Tool Tor, or the TELS operating system, are labeled as extremists and have their IP addresses logged. German researchers and journalists have found that merely searching for or visiting the Tor site will get you noticed. X-Keyscore is designed to track Internet use as well as examine emails looking for information. A part of the source code refers to Tails as a tool used by extremists on extremist forums. 
The Code 4X key score is said to avoid users in Australia, Canada, New Zealand, the UK, and the US, the so-called Five Eyes spying nations. The website CryptoMe has claimed to be releasing more documents reportedly leaked by Edward Snowden. CryptoMe on Twitter claim that the documents will be published in the coming weeks. In an email exchange with Vocactive.com, John Young, the founder of CryptoMe, hints that they may be released before the beginning of the upcoming hacker and whistleblower conference, Hope X. Edward Snowden is supposed to speak at that conference. Support for the Liberty Beat comes from Affordable Sound, CD and DVD duplication, along with posters and promotions materials. Mention promo code LIBERTY, and when you order 10 or more posters, you get 10 free. Online, affordablesound.com, or call them up at 512-459-5253. This is the Liberty Beat for Monday, July 7th, 2014. Check out the website at thelibertybeat.com. In San Marcos, Texas, the Citizens Utility Advisory Board has decided to continue fluoridating the city's drinking water for eight months. The Austin American Statesman reports that City Council will study the safety of the fluoride. Fluoride opponents and activists garnered public attention, as well as over 1,000 signatures against water fluoridation. Thousands of government records were lost, destroyed, or missing including 114 files connected to an investigation into a child abuse ring that may have involved British government officials. Suspicions rose after Mark Sedwell, the Home Office's permanent secretary, revealed the loss of an estimated 36,000 records. Now that includes records related to allegations of a pedophile ring dating back to the 1980s. A new study published in the Journal of human brain mapping, found that under the influence of psilocybin mushrooms, the brain experiences activity similar to a dream. Now, researchers examined brain scans of volunteers who were injected with the mushrooms. Now, they found activity of the hippocampus, an interior cingulate cortex, brain centers connected to emotional thinking. Dr. Carhart Harris said the team was also studying the effect of LSD on creative thinking and the possibility of treating depression with psilocybin. Support for Liberty Bean comes from The Corey Moore Show, live every Friday night at 9 o'clock Central Time. Find them online at CoreyMooreShow.com. And support for the Liberty Bean comes from Roberts & Roberts Brokerage, Inc. Precious metals at reasonable rates since 1877. Online at rrbi.co for all the details. This is the Liberty Bean for Monday, July 7th, 2014. I'm Brian Hagen reporting. A fully leveled up video game character marvels at how far he's come. And the milk rushing through a jug handle is having the time of its life. This is the Onion Week in Review. This week, top executives from the U.S. financial sector announced they're about ready to ruin the world again. Representatives from all major banking and investment institutions said that more than enough time has passed since they last caused a major global economic meltdown and confirmed they're pretty much fully prepared to bring about a brand new worldwide financial crisis. We feel like we've given people enough time to get comfortable again. Consumer spending has increased. Housing market has rebounded. So yeah, we're all set to go ahead and ruin the global economy again. And in other news, the perfect gift for a local man is unfortunately a gift certificate to Lowe's Cinemas. Mall shoppers look on in awe as a helpless 15-year-old girl is viciously torn apart by a pack of her peers. And a drunk pilot decides to pull over onto a cloud until he sobers up. You will now hear three gong strikes and a recitation of the great chant before being ushered to the hallowed garden. For more, keep checking theonion.com. This is the Onion News Network. This is Free Talk Live, and you can bring up anything that you want. All you have to do is dial in toll-free. Our number is 855-450-FREE, and we've got Skype as well. Skype on into the show at username lrn.fm. Again, that toll-free line brought to you by ProXPN is 855-450-3733. With you tonight, Ian here. 
Christopher Cantwell. And Mark. Chris Cantwell joining us here as our guest co-host for tonight. Uh, Derek J. to return next week. And, of course, you can join us here toll-free. Actually, going to start a top ten list here, and then if we get a chance, we'll talk about, uh, we'll give you a little bit from The Onion. But the uh, the top ten list is from thoughtcatalog.com, a site I've never been on before. And, Chris, you're instantly skeptical. You sounded like maybe you've heard of this uh, this website before. I, I was thinking Thoughts on Liberty, which is sort of like oh, a f- okay. feminist libertarian blog, which just makes me want to scream at people. Uh, but Thought Catalog, I I can't claim to be too familiar with. So let's let's have on with the list, and then I'll find out if I hate it. This is the 10 new wa- people to scream at. Ten ways you're making your life harder than it has to be by Tim Hawk. Number one, you ascribe intent. Another driver cuts you off. Mm. Your friend never texted you. Your coworker went to lunch without you. Everyone can find a reason to be offended on a steady basis. So what caused you to be offended? You assigned bad intent to these otherwise innocuous actions. You took it as a personal affront, a slap in the face. Happy people don't do this. They don't take things personally, and they don't ascribe intent to the unintentional actions of others. Well, this yeah, this combines two things. There's what happened. And then there's the story you tell yourself mm-hmm. about what happened. Without uh, asking anyone. W- w- right? Yeah. Well, I mean, even if you do ask, you don't believe necessarily what the story sure. is. And they the could fact be lying is, to you. humans lie, right? Yeah, some do. <laughs> so you have a, uh, y- y- I mean, I understand why people do this. It's just, you know, what empowers you in your life? What makes you happy? Um, you know, these are questions that one has to ask oneself. Well, right. One version of the story is you're a victim of this person and what they were doing to you. And the other version of the story is, well, you don't really know what happened unless you are in possession of all the facts. And ultimately, should it really matter what their intention like, was? Anyway? Ultimately, who cares? Everything right. everybody does, they do in order to make themselves feel better. Therefore, nothing is a personal attack on you. Or they just it forgot. Is, it is all bad systems for making oneself feel better. But a guy cuts you off in traffic. It doesn't matter if he intended to be scum or he just is scum. He is scum <laughs> regardless. So, yeah, don't ascribe intent. Just call him a scumbag and get on with your day yeah if you're presuming he saw you right like there's a good chance that maybe he didn't see you maybe you were in his blind spot or something like that i think you've been in new hampshire for too long dude i'm from new york all right (laughs) everyone on the road in new york is scum (laughs) there's an argument for that one what do you feel like when you get caught behind a tractor up here in new hampshire (laughs) Well, I don't want to call him scum. He's doing his job, but I am very upset with the roads here because, I mean, you can drive like 80 miles without seeing a passing lane, and that drives me Mm, out of my mind. It is one of the downsides of living out in the woods here in uh, southwestern New Hampshire is the roads. Uh, the roads to get you to the other cities are like two lanes, and that's it. Not on, not two lanes on one side, two lanes total. Yeah. Exactly. Every now and then there are some passing areas. Yeah, and that, that can be extraordinarily frustrating, especially when, you met, as you mentioned, you have like a tractor trailer who's going slower, and then you pull up, and then there's like 10 cars behind him, and it becomes an impossible task to pass people. But, you know, without government, who would build them, right? Number two, you're the star of your own movie. It's a little wonder, or it's little wonder rather, that you believe the world revolves around you. After all, you've been at the very center of every experience you've ever had. You're the star of your own movie. You wrote the script. You know how you want it to unfold. You even know how you want it to end. Unfortunately, you forgot to give your script to anyone else. As a result, people are unaware of the role they're supposed to play. Then, when they screw up their lines or fail to fall in love with you or don't give you a promotion, your movie is ruined. Lose your script. Let someone else star once in a while. Welcome new characters and embrace plot twists. What? <laughs> Does it, it didn't make sense? I, it just, it was fluff. What do you think about that one, Mark? It doesn't do anything for me either. Uh, what I see uh, in this particular instance on uh, thoughtcatalog.com is that you know, people do tell a story about their lives, and in a lot of cases, I think in general, that story is true. You know, for instance, if you focus on negativity and all the bad things in your life, you shouldn't be surprised when you start noticing more bad things happening. But if you focus on positivity and the good things in life, then you'll probably see more good things happening, or at least you'll be more cognizant of those good things happening, and so it can feel that life is better than it was previously. Um, but if you... 
if you have an idea of the way things are supposed to go, like, for instance, I think uh, some people get lost in the law of attraction with this. So the law of attraction being the idea, and some people obviously don't believe in it, but the idea that the universe gives you what you put into it, essentially, that uh, that like attracts like. So if you're putting out negativity, you're going to get more of that, etc. Some people believe that they can use the law of attraction to, say, change the direction of a court case or a game that they're in or like the, getting the promotion rather than somebody else. And then, of course, they're disappointed when it doesn't work out the way that they had intended for it to, wake, uh, to work out. That can result in severe disappointment and maybe some depression. But you know, if you're not taking things as uh, seriously and you, aren't having, you don't have expectations like that, then you won't be as damaged when those things don't pan out. Well, I, I agree that when you take things too seriously, you get bad outcomes, certainly. I think people need to lighten the F up. Yeah, absolutely. Number three, you fast forward to apocalypse. This is the 10 ways you're making your life harder than it has to be. I have a bad habit, says the author, of fast forwarding everything to its worst possible outcome and being pleasantly surprised when the result is marginally better than utter disaster or jail time. My mind unnecessarily wrestles with events that aren't even remotely like likely. My sore throat is cancer. My lost driver's license fell into the hands of an Al-Qaeda operative who will wipe out my savings account. Negativity only breeds more negativity. It's a happiness riptide. It will carry you away from shore, and if you don't swim away from it, it will pull you under. Yeah, that's mentally ill is what that is. What, thinking about the worst case scenario? Uh, yeah, in every instance, yes. Well, certainly every instance is probably, um, yeah, that's probably a problem. But I've, I've had this happen before. I mean, I've I've certainly uh, envisioned the SWAT team kicking in the, the front door and, you know, what would happen well, in a situation like that. The worst thing that could happen will happen a percentage of the time. Mm -hmm. So the worst possible outcome will occur a percentage of the time. So... I, you know, I think far not, too many people uh, sort of look at the world as like a bright, fuzzy place and don't take apocalypse into consideration. And that this. So you're saying fact, there's the opposite that's a problem, too. Yes, exactly. That people think that, you know, the worst cannot happen. And as a result, the worst does happen. And they are not prepared for that. So mm. I would I would uh, say, look, I mean, as a general statement, if you're a real uh, uh, panicky pita, worry wart, or whatever you want to call it, that you're constantly concerned that, I don't know, a plane's going to fall through your roof and murder your whole family. I mean, this is not a reasonable thing to be concerned about. About at all times. However, uh, you know, bad things happen in the world. The world does not care about you. It will just as soon drown you in a mudslide as give you air to breathe. Yep, that's you're true. just a parasite on the bump on, on on the world. You know, I mean, that's really what it comes down to. I think that it's. Uh, I, I agree with you, Chris. It's unrealistic to be Pollyanna-ish and believe that everything's always going to work out. You know perfectly and in the way that you intended it to but also the the reverse is dangerous to believe that the worst case scenario is always likely or inevitable or whatever that's a very very dangerous mindset to be in and uh, and i agree with mark that well, that's sick whenever you whenever you part from objective reality i think you tend to get bad outcomes whether it's you know staying in the dark or staying in the light if you're if you're not dealing with the reality of the world that you're in you're going to have bad outcomes i agree with you completely on that i just think that you know don't take the bad news too badly uh, right yeah, and, take it easy. And, and don't take the good news. You know, rejoice. I guess I, I would say rejoice in the small victories, rejoice in the large victories, and don't take the bad news too badly. I think that's good advice. Number four, you have unrealistic and or uncommunicated expectations. Well, this is a big one. Among their many shortcomings of your family and friends is the harsh reality that they cannot read your mind or anticipate your whims. Did your boyfriend forget the six-and-a-half-month anniversary of your first movie date? Did your girlfriend refuse to call at an appointed hour? Did your friend fail to fawn over your tribal tattoo? Unmet expectations will be at the root of most of your unhappiness in life. Absolutely. Min minimize your expectations. Maximize your joy. You can, you can fix this with communication. This is simply good communication. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, the better you do it, the, the more times your expectations are going to meet, more times you're going to meet other people's expectations. Because in dealing with customers here on Free Talk Live, I, I, you know, I've found many times if you oversell what's going to happen, you're going to be in bad shape. Actually, I probably learned that before I started doing Free Talk Live. Um, but if you undersell, you know, then, new, then good things happen. Same price tag. Let's come back with more here. Of the 10 ways you're making your life harder than it has to be, you can add yours in. Share your thoughts at 855-450-FREE here on Free Talk Live. Incorporation, protection, success. Incorporate your business. 
LLC. If you're about to start a business, these three little letters can make the difference between making a fortune and losing everything. Because if you're not incorporated and someone sues your business, you can lose it all. Your home, your car, even your life savings. That's why LLC.com is now giving away a free incorporation guide to all business owners. So you can incorporate in just 10 minutes. Protect your home. Protect your car. Protect your life savings. Call 1-800-915-2955 for your free 10-minute incorporation guide from LLC.com. They don't provide legal or financial advice. They just make incorporating or forming an LLC quick and easy. Incorporation, protection, success. Incorporate your business. Call now for your free guide. 1-800-915-2955. That's 1-800-915-2955. On the average, Americans work between 45 to 50 years hoping to build up enough wealth to retire and live out their golden years. Unfortunately, with taxation, the rising cost of food, energy, housing, and medical, many retirees are forced to live below the poverty line. Is this a flaw free enterprise, or is our monetary unit we call the Federal Reserve Note forcing us into perpetual debt, ensuring inflation and higher taxes? These questions and more can be answered by reading G. Edward Griffin's book, The Creature from Jekyll Island. Congressman Ron Paul states it's what every American needs to know about central bank power. A gripping adventure into the secret world of international banking cartel. Hi, this is Ted Anderson. I will give a silver dollar from the early 1900s to anyone who purchases this book. Call 1-800-686-2237 and order a copy today. It's critical that the public be made aware of the system. Call and order your copy today at 1-800-686-2237. That's 1-800-686-2237. Why did you move to the Shire? I moved here to the Shire because there's other people around who take liberty just as seriously as I do. I moved to the Shire because I saw videos of people challenging authority and thought that I could get support myself. It called to me, like, do this right now. I wanted to be around people like me who got it. And once I got here, I knew there was nowhere else that I wanted to be. I've always wanted to change the world. So I moved to the Shire to join people who were actually working towards doing the same thing. The people here are awesome, loving, and positive. It was for the adventure and for the feeling of something important is happening here, and I just wanted to come to sort of be part of that. Visit ShireSociety.com to read and sign the Shire Society Declaration and learn the reasons why, if you love liberty, you should immigrate to the Shire. Plus, add yourself to the Shire map at ShireSociety.com. That's ShireSociety.com. Here's a chance to do a little activism while you're cruising Facebook, Twitter, or Google+. Between the LOL cats, the recipes, the hot girls, and the inspirational sunrise memes, Free Talk Live's post pass by your newsfeed. Like them. Comment. It gives us more exposure. If you don't see our posts, click like at facebook.freetalklive.com and then hover over it to click Get Notifications. It's an easy way to spread the ideas of liberty a bit further. I know you're busy, but you can spare that tenth of a calorie it takes to click on something. Facebook.freetalklive.com. This is Mark of Free Talk Live. We've been witnessing a meltdown of the economic engine that powers our country. With a printing press tethered to Washington bureaucrats and New York central bankers, how can we trust paper money? For years, I've been buying gold and silver from Midas Resources, and you should too. Call 877-357-9938 for a free book titled 10 Reasons to Own Gold, or go to gold.freetalklive.com. Again, 877-357-9938. 877-357-9938. Do you love Twitter? Make sure you favorite the LRN.FM Twitter account so you can receive our tweets at twitter.lrn.fm. That's twitter.lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live. Bring up what you want by dialing toll-free at 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. And we invite you online over at freetalklive.com. You can also connect to the show live during our program with Skype. So Skype in at username lrn.fm. Send a contact request first. We'll approve it probably within about a show segment whenever we notice it's there, basically. And then it'll be easy for you to connect with us uh, on Skype. So check that out. Username there, lrn.fm. With you tonight in studio, Ian here. Christopher Cantwell. And Mark. Need focus? Feeling fatigued? Trying to get that extra edge when it counts? There's a lot going on in your life these days, and it's hard to you know keep track of everything. Get tired. It's easy to get tired. So don't you wish there was something that could get you out of your rut? 
give you the focus you need and help you get things done. You might want to look into modafinil from modup.net. Studies show one in five students use this cognitive enhancer offering multiple benefits, including a double-digit increase in short-term memory, fighting off fatigue, and greater focus overall so you can get things done. Businessmen around the world are talking about how modafinil from modup.net is making the difference in their work and giving them the critical edge they need. Check out modup.net and look into it for yourself. There's fast delivery available worldwide for guaranteed high-quality modafinil at an amazing price. In fact, the price Price gets even better when you pay with Bitcoin because you're going to save 33% by paying with Bitcoin at modup.net. And to make the deal even sweeter, use code FTL like Free Talk Live. Code FTL that gets you 10 free tablets with your order. Do keep in mind that Free Talk Live is an international radio show and modup.net ships worldwide. It's your responsibility to know if local prescription requirements and laws apply. So look into it for yourself and you'll find great service at a great price from modup.net. Again, that's code FTL at modup, M-O-D-U-P dot net. We're talking about the 10 ways you're making your life harder than it has to be, at least according to Tim Hawk at thoughtcatalog.com. Just to breeze through the first four that we, uh, we already did, you ascribe intent to others. You're the star of your own movie. You fast forward to apocalypse, meaning that you think the worst is going to happen. You have unrealistic and or uncommunicated expectations. That, I think, can't be uh, focused on enough. The idea that, you know, if you don't communicate with others what you're expecting from them, you shouldn't be angry when they drop the ball. Like if you expect someone to do something, but they don't know what you're expecting them to do, how can you be mad at them for botching it up? How can, I, uh, how, how can they drop the ball when they never knew they had it? Right. Well, not entirely. I mean, as a general statement, I'll go ahead and say that as a general statement, that's okay. But sometimes I think it is uh, useful to sort of put someone in a position and see how they react to it, right? I don't know that you should sure. necessarily get angry with a person because they haven't done what you expected. But it's but a, if you're putting them in a position to see how they react, you shouldn't get angry when they don't react in the way you were expecting them but to you, react. But you right? might find them to be less useful in your life. And, sure. if, and if you're going to put them in that position and see how they react in order to see if they are capable of doing something, yeah, not a whole lot of point in getting angry at but, them, but it might be a good reason to cut them off. No, yeah, absolutely. That makes sense. Uh, number five on this list, you are waiting for a sign. Author says, I have a friend who won't make a decision without receiving a sign. I suppose she's waiting on a trumpeted announcement from God. She's constantly paralyzed by a divinity that is either heavily obscured or frustratingly tardy. I'm not disavowing that fate or higher power plays a role in our lives. I'm just saying that it's better to help shape fate than to be governed by it. Well, let me just go ahead and uh, disavow that faith has anything to do with our lives, okay? If you're waiting for God to tell you what to do, then you're probably not going to find what you're looking for. It's going to turn out badly. Haven't you experienced like sort of signs that uh, you feel like eh, yeah that it makes me it makes me believe my decision was good or something like that i mean what, what do they call that providence uh, serendipity serendipity are you talking about after the fact you talking after about the, before the fact she's whatever. The, this is talking it doesn't about really make, it's talking about signs this is talking about waiting for a sign to decide what to do you're saying have you seen a sign after you've decided to do something that something, validates you it, exactly I, I wait for situation. a sign on the highway to tell me to exit, uh, so that you know works out pretty good. And if I don't wait for that sign, then I might hit a tree or you know end up in the wrong lane of the highway or and something. And you have faith that that sign's giving you good information. There we go. Ooh, Which is ridiculous zing. because it's actually coming from the government, and that's you know has a terrible <laughs> habit of working out. But so far as you know, it works with uh, well, highway exits. It works. Yeah. Well, generally the government doesn't really want to send you over a cliff because they can't get tax dollars out of you. So to some extent, the yeah, government they can actually the estate Estate tax, a death tax, they'll, they'll yeah, actually take a They chunk want you of to you. be alive, though, because they're going to get that estate tax later on anyway. Exactly. So, you know, to some extent, there's a minimal interest in the government to, like, not have people running, uh, you know, jumping over bridges in their cars and unfinished bridges. And right, exactly. Like they prefer to shoot you themselves. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, waiting for uh, whether it's a sign from God or a sign from some sort of person that you've uh, put above you to determine what to do. I think that, you know, the, the whole living life by default and just seeing what happens to you and then reacting to those things is a really terrible way to live. If you want to live in an empowered manner, then you have to make choices and you have to uh, be confident. Now, even if you're wrong, ultimately, that's fine. At least you made the choice and you learned the lesson from you know, making the mistake. Well, 
Well, I've made t- choices that look like the very best choice um, in the matter at the time. Turns out, meh, wasn't the best choice mm-hmm. at the time that I could have made. I've come to the conclusion that most choices are just about chance. And so, therefore, if you have a good system or a bad system for picking these, uh, you know, maybe it doesn't matter that much. I remember seeing a 60 Minutes where they took a chimpanzee, had him throw darts at a uh, as, at the New York Stock Exchange, uh, just, they <laughs> bought the stocks and made money. So, uh, I mean, <laughs> you know, this seems like a remarkably bad way to choose stocks. However, it did work. Number six, you don't take risks. And to me, this is this should be the number one or number ten, whatever the highest number is on this list. This is a big one. Um, two words, says the author: live boldly. Every single time you're offered a choice that involves greater risk, take it. You will lose on many of them, but when you add them up at the end of your life, you'll be glad that you did. I don't know if I agree with the advice that you should take every single risk no, that you're presented I don't. with. <laughs> I think that could really result in uh, some bad things happening, especially should if I... we go back to our conversation about inter- interacting with the police yeah. uh, that we talked about earlier. But I do appreciate taking risks, and I know I wouldn't be where I am today had I not taken several of them. I, well, you got to take calcul- good calculated risks, but I mean, if you make this decision while on the road and decide that you should take every risk, that means you're going to challenge every truck to chicken, and you won't <laughs> yeah. survive the trip home so no uh taking every risk is a bad move um you know smart smart people that take good calculated risks are liable to do well right some people risks- that take bold moves in areas that they don't know you know what i'll put the family fortune on any stock i place my finger on yeah. tomorrow morning's newspaper ridiculous Fortune favors the bold. I I agree with that, that if you are sort of worried about every little thing that could possibly happen every time you put something on the line that, you know, if failure is imminent when you when you operate in that way, or at least prosperity is going to be illusory, you have to be able to take risks in this world. And if you're afraid to do that, well, then that's well, going to be a problem. Yeah, and that also kind of ties into two of the other ones that we already talked about, the the previous one where some people are waiting for a sign. Those are not risk takers. Somebody who's waiting to be told what to do, whether it's by some sort of uh, god or another human being, uh, is not taking a risk. They're, they just want to go along to get along or follow somebody's orders. And you know, and then you also look at uh, the the people who think of the worst possible scenario. If if you're constantly thinking of the worst case, then you're going to be frozen. You're not going to do anything because you'll be too afraid of what might actually happen. I think this list talks uh, speaks more about what the author's problems are than anything else. Well, it's I projecting. Think some of this, I think some of this is useful though. Eight fifty five. It's not four fifty free. That's eight five five four five zero three seven three three. You can add yours to this list of the ten ways you're making your life harder. Harder than it has to be. What are some of the lessons you've learned? Free Talk Live. This is Dan Pilla. Do you owe the IRS money you can't pay? Are tax debts crippling you? I've defended people from the IRS for over 30 years. I've helped thousands and I can help you too. I wrote the book on IRS settlement and I'm telling you, there's no such thing as a hopeless case. Call 834 No Tax to finally get free of IRS debt. With the IRS's new programs, there's never been a better time to solve your problem. Call 834 No Tax. That's 800-34-NO-TAX or my website, danpilla.com. Good people need help. The Homeowners Association said we had weeds and fined us $25. We told them they had the wrong house. They said if we didn't pay it, they'd file a lien. Our attorney demanded photographs, witnesses, and told them if they couldn't provide this, they must cease and desist. Issue solved. Worry less and live more with lsprotection.com. That's lsprotection.com or call 855-340-SAVE. That's 855-340-7283. Results will vary from case to case. Hi, I'm Derek J. I don't want a politician to represent me. To me, government is the idea that one group of people can coerce everyone to comply with an edict or face increasing punishments up to and including death. Despite perhaps the most noble of intentions, the best government services are a far cry from what could be provided for by voluntary interactions. Besides, the people who call themselves the government wage wars and put peaceful people in jail for crimes involving no victims. If Starbucks used some of its money to drop bombs, I wouldn't shop there. So why would I support the American empire? The Empire does not require my consent. 
Derek J's Victimless Crime Spree. Watch it for free and order the Director's Cut DVD at VictimlessCrimeSpree.com. That's VictimlessCrimeSpree.com. Imagine for a moment a radio program, the most personal of mediums, that reaches hundreds of thousands of people on more than 140 radio stations across the U.S. and around the world through the Internet with podcasts and live streams. Imagine the advertising is affordable from $600 to $6,000 a month. Free Talk Live is that program. We will work with you to get clicks, calls, views, or sales. Email me at mark at freetalklive.com. So you've heard all three hours of the latest episode of Free Talk Live, and you're still hungry for liberty-oriented audio content? Did you know that we have another 24-7 audio stream at lrn.fm? The Liberty Radio Network airs the latest episodes of some of the best liberty-oriented podcasts on the internet, around the clock. In addition to recorded content, you'll also hear live shows like Free Talk Live, originating from our Keene, New Hampshire studio. So listen anytime at lrn.fm. That's lrn.fm. Are you about to meet the media? If you're about to be interviewed, do their homework for them. Know this about the person who will interview you. He or she is busy, so expect minimal, if any, preparation. He or she doesn't know as much about your topic as you do. He or she isn't as concerned as you are about getting your message out, so you need to take responsibility. Provide a biography and fact sheet, photographs, or other materials that tell your story story. Reporters won't be put off if you supply frequently asked questions. Remember, Public Speaking 101, at the end of the speech, what's the one thing you want them to remember? You can download the document I supply to reporters who interview me and squirm through a video that demonstrates how not to conduct your media interview at www.survivalspeech.com. I'm Holland Cook. Listen to LRN.FM on any phone, anytime. 213-493-0309. That's 213-493-0309. This is Free Talk Live, and you may bring up anything you want. We're talking about uh, some useful ideas, or at least some of them. From the 10 ways you're making your life harder than it has to be, thoughtcatalog.com. The source will continue with the remaining four on the list of 10, as uh, you may call in and add your thoughts to the mix here. And then coming up, Christopher Cantwell is angry about Sirius XM. We will uh, talk more about what's happening over there, the supposed uncensored satellite uh, comedy slash talk slash music service. We'll uh, let you know what's been developing there recently, and it's I, not good news. I love how you said Christopher Cantwell is angry as if this was some sort of headline. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, we'll continue with the list here, though, and also remind you to go check us out at freetalklive.com. You can also check out Chris on his blog, ChristopherCantwell.com. And don't forget, over at freetalklive.com, we do have a mobile site. So if you want to tune in to us on your smartphone, maybe you're out and about and you want to listen live or listen later, because we do have 24-7 streaming of Free Talk Live archives, uh, you can go to our mobile site, mlikemobile.freetalklive.com. That's m.freetalklive.com. You can link to our live streams there. And also you can uh, link to some of the software that might help you tune those streams in for your phone operating system all over at m.freetalklive.com. So uh, the remainder of the 10 ways you're making your life harder than it has to be. Again, one of the big ones here, number six, you don't take risks. People who don't take risks can't really ever expect to win big. Yeah, you can get through life without taking many risks. You know, you can suck some air and drink some water and, you know, go to the bathroom and sleep, but you're probably not going to rise above your station in life, whatever that happened to be. Or without, whatever area you wish to rise. Right, without taking some risk. Put something on the line. You have to in order to get ahead, in my opinion. Yeah, unfortunately, he sort of takes it a little too far in the article, I think, and says, you know, whenever take there's a risk, risk, take it. That's and of crazy. course, you know, you're engaging in risky, uh, you know, sexual and drug behavior. And, <laughs> right. you know, they I don't want to jump out of a can, plane. I'm just yeah. not interested in that kind of risk. <laughs> <laughs> that does. Uh, that sexually attractive uh, individual over there with the scabs on their arms. Not a problem. Let's do it. Yeah. And, uh, and we're not wearing uh, protection. Let's let's go. Yeah. That pretty girl with the Adam's apple who wants your money is probably not the best bet to go raw with. Number seven, you constantly compare your life to others. A few years ago, says the author, I was invited to a nice party at a big warehouse downtown. I was enjoying the smooth jazz, box wine, and crustless sandwiches. 
Crustless sandwiches. People actually make crustless sandwiches. Is that like a hipster thing? No, Where it's supposed to be an hors Oh, really? Is this guy getting envious about boxed wine? <laughs> what more could a guy want, he says. Later in the evening, I noticed a steady parade of well-heeled people slide past and disappear into another room. I peeked and saw a large party with beautiful revelers dancing and carrying on like Bacchus. Suddenly, my gig wasn't as fun as it had all um, as it had been, all because it didn't appear to measure up to the party next door, a party I didn't know existed until just moments before. I do this frequently. Those people are having more fun. Mary has a bigger boat. Craig gets all the lucky breaks. Ted has more money. John is better looking. Stop it. Always remember what Teddy Roosevelt says. Comparison is the thief of joy. Well, I'm going to go ahead and say that you shouldn't allow the comparison to instill envy. Envy is a thief of joy, mm. and that's a, certainly a, a terrible thing. But I have, you know, looked up to different people over the course of my life, you know, and, and to want what they have in terms of trying to produce it and obtain it for yourself, I, I don't think is a negative thing. If you're comparing yourself to someone who's doing better than you, then you can aspire to get to their station that's by a good taking point. some risks. Yeah, I think that's a great point. Um, but, but if you're comparing yourself to others and letting it, uh, letting that those comparisons, uh, letting that be an excuse to be down about yourself and how awful your life is and you know how much better other people have, there's always somebody who has it better than you. Yeah, right? if you're if you're if you're getting bitten by fleas in Zuccotti Park because you're ticked off about the one percent, then maybe that's not the best course of action. Eight fifty five, <laughs> four fifty free. That is the Pro XPN toll free line. Moving on here, number eight on the list. You let other people steal from you. If you had a million dollars in cash under your mattress, you would check it regularly and take precautions to ensure that it's safe. Like putting it into Bitcoin. <laughs> the one possession you have that is more important than money is time, but you don't do anything to protect it. In fact, you willingly give it to thieves, selfish people, egotistical people, negative people, people who won't shut up. Treat your time like Fort Knox, guard it closely, and give it only to those who deserve and respect it. I think there's value to this uh, statement. However, uh, oftentimes I, you know, I mean, it's my job to talk to people for, uh, for, for a living. And I, you know, I, my personality is developed by talking to people who I didn't want to talk to, who I wouldn't talk to otherwise. So I think that there's, uh, yeah, I mean, there's, there's something to be said for this. There's time to make money. There's time to work. And if somebody's messing with that time, then mm -hmm. that's, you know, no, you can't have that time. There's a time to enjoy with your family. And if somebody's trying to suck that time up um, instead of letting you spend it with your family, yeah. nope, not for that. You have to assess, you know, the person you're talking to, the topic that's being discussed, and whether or not your time would be better spent doing something else. I mean, a perfect example for me of this is, you know, I'm kind of an old hat at running outreach booths. I used to do it in Florida with the Libertarian Party. I've got another one coming up here at the county fair this year in uh, in Keene, as I've done for the past two or three years. And when you're doing one of these outreach booths, to me, the goal is to reach as many people as possible. I don't want to have a lengthy conversation with people about politics. I don't want to debate somebody on the issues of whatever issue is important to them. I don't I don't I don't want to hear their treatise on whatever their concerns about society. I don't care about all that. Right. Well I we just, do this three hours a night. If anybody wants to call and give that to you, they can do it, right? Well, but they don't know that necessarily. I'm just working an outreach booth. I'm a guy running a booth. So my example was going to be that usually when you run one of these booths, if you're there for enough hours, eventually some chatty Catholic is going to come up to you and start blah, 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 blah. They just want someone to listen to them. They're lonely and they you know, don't have any friends or whatever, or they just want to bug the guy at the booth or whatever their motivation. They just come up and they just start yapping. Well, the longer they're yapping at me, and you know, I want to be nice and try to listen to somebody, but at the same time, I can't just stand there and let my time be monopolized. When people are walking by who otherwise had that person not been standing there, I could be handing out flyers to or getting the information out that I want to get out. So ultimately, by talking to that individual, that person is sapping my ability to reach others. I, so. I have been guilty of this, just allowing people to occupy entirely too much of my time. And I think mm -hmm. a lot of people do this, especially on social media, getting into oh, you yeah. know, arguments with Flame people Wars. on Facebook. And I used to think it was fun. Like, I used to have, like, a bunch of, like, hardcore lefty Facebook friends who would be. come and be fun attack, to uh, yeah. you know, posts of mine. And I'd argue with them. But, like, it, it got to a point, I'm like, how much energy am I really dedicating to these mm. people who are never going to change their mind? 
minds. It's just a brick wall trying to, uh, you know, it, it assert their point of view to a larger audience. And sometimes you can't allow that to happen. You got to be aware. You got to be cognizant of the people that are that are monopolizing your time. And and, and it's there's nothing wrong with saying. You know, in a situation like I've dealt with, I'm sorry, I've, I've really got to move on here. I've got other people I, I need to talk to. And just trying to be nice about blowing them off, essentially. Like, move move along. Thank you for your <laughs> thank you for your input. Here's some information. Uh, have a nice day. And if that doesn't work, use an expletive and block them on social media. <laughs> it's the real-life ones where the blocking gets more difficult. Number nine on the list of ten things, ten ways you're making your life harder than it has to be. You can't slash won't let go. These are getting a little harder, aren't they, says the author. That's because sometimes you have to work at happiness. Some hurdles are too difficult to clear by simply adjusting your point of view or adopting a positive mindset. Do you need to forgive someone? Do you need to turn your back on a failed relationship? Do you need to come to terms with the death of a loved one? Life is full of loss, but in a sense, real happiness would not be possible without it. It helps us appreciate and savor the things that really matter, and it helps us grow. It can help us help others grow. Closure is a word for people who've never really suffered. There's no such thing. Just try to manage your loss and put it in perspective. You'll always have some regret and doubt about your loss. Are there people that have never really suffered? I mean, even the people that live these uh, cloistered lives, they, they suffer by their own yardstick of suffering. Mm -hmm. You know, I sure. mean, if the, if the greatest suffering you have is, is that the, that puppy didn't come over to me but ran to my sister instead, it is still the greatest suffering you have uh, experienced. And, you know, the person who's lost all their, their whole family in a bombing attack, I, I, it, it may be these things are comparable since, uh, you know, the other person hasn't felt anything greater. We'll come back with uh, a little bit more on this one on the 10 ways you're making your life harder than it has to be. We'll talk about Sirius XM and censorship, perhaps? Well, let's talk about that Political on the way. Political correctness run amok. Yeah, on the way here in moments. And enough time for you if you dial in right now at 855-450 free. Take control of Free Talk Live. One little joint supplement. You know this powerful little pill is great for your joints. It even has powerful benefits to help increase your mobility and flexibility. But the joint supplements of today are sadly incomplete because they don't give you the joint relief you're looking for. Until now. Introducing the complimentary two-week sample of Instaflex, our most powerful joint formula ever. It's the number one selling joint supplement at GNC. The only thing our complimentary sample of Instaflex is missing is the price. Because right now, we're offering adults a complimentary two-week sample as part of a nationwide giveaway. Call and claim your sample today. 1-800-608-9424. Instaflex provides powerful, effective joint relief for your knees, hands, even your hips. Prove it to yourself by calling now for your complimentary sample. Instaflex is available at GNC, Walgreens, and CVS, but you can only get your complimentary two-week sample by calling 1-800-608-9424. Call now for your two-week Instaflex sample, 1-800-608-9424. Springtime is save big time at Herbal Healer Academy. Long-term customers know spring is the time to stock up at HerbalHealer.com. And for new customers, welcome to the web's best place to save on vitamins, minerals, and more. Log on for spring specials, including our 500 parts per million colloidal silver, all sizes on sale. Choose from Herbal Healer's great variety of weight loss products like apple cider vinegar, Hootia and Metabolic Complex, and ProMetabolic, all on sale now. Also, the Anti-Parasite Intestinal Freedom and Warwood Plus Complex, plus Stevia Liquid Sweetener and the Super Enzymes, all on sale for spring at HerbalHealer.com. As always, we offer certificate correspondence courses in natural medicine. Enjoy same-day shipping and free online newsletter. Log on now to HerbalHealer.com and click on Spring Specials to save big with our nation's leader in supplying quality natural medicine and education since 1988, Herbal Healer Academy. Free Talk Live. That's all libertarians are saying is let's stop the violence. And really, when you put it in those terms, it sounds kind of liberal. Let's stop the violence. Sure, right? it's, a, it's a movement about peace and personal responsibility. It could very easily sound like, uh, when you use the word peace, sounds liberal, you know? Right. So if the first libertarian you ever meet or hear on the radio is just talking about making government smaller, I can totally understand why you would get confused and think that, it, you know, just a bunch of ultra-right wingers. That's one of the reasons why I kind of shy away from labeling myself that way. Often we get terms like radical used towards us, mm -hmm. but... Uh, radical, really? 
peace, personal responsibility, voluntary interaction between individuals, that's radical? I'll tell you what's radical. Radical's using a gun and a bunch of guys in, in armored suits with helmets to enforce your will on people. Free Talk Live, seven nights a week from 7 to 10 Eastern, live on the Liberty Radio Network at lrn.fm. Free Talk Live has partnered with Amazon, the largest internet retailer. Imagine a department store category, and Amazon has it. Books, electronics, office products, furniture, jewelry, automotive, toys, clothing, sporting goods, and dozens of other categories. Now you can shop and support Free Talk Live by entering Amazon through our website. Go to shop.freetalklive.com, and Amazon will send us a portion of your purchase. You're going to do the shopping anyway, so remember to enter through our site at shop.freetalklive.com. That's shop.freetalklive.com. If there was a place that liberty-minded people had been elected to political positions and were rolling back government, would you move there? If freedom lovers had secured a 20% voting block and can veto most bad bills, would you move? Well, the time has come to sign the pledge at freestateproject.org. These things have happened in New Hampshire, and you can join us and help. freestateproject.org. Sign up now at freestateproject.org. You can interact with other LRN listeners in our message board at forum.lrn.fm. That's forum.lrn.fm. Free Talk Live. Moments remain here, but enough time for you with your call and thoughts if you dial in right now, toll free. To 855 450 free. That's 855 450 3733. And don't forget to join us online over at freetalklive.com and enjoy all the features that we share with you on the site. Tickets for Keenvention are still available for 40 bucks. The pre ordering early bird discount price is still in effect because I just haven't gotten around to raising the price. I said I was going to raise it after Pork Fest. It's now after Pork Fest, so at any moment, the price could go up to $60. And Christopher Cantwell, you were involved in Keenvention last year, much to the chagrin of some individuals who boycotted the event as a result of you being part of it. And yet, uh, the panel that I was on, as I understand it, was one of the most attended and engaged panels. It was and the most attended. Uh, the panel. most. Mm-hmm. The singular most attended and engaged panels. Which so, makes me want to bring you back this year, Chris. Well, I, I think that would be a, a wise decision. And I <laughs> and I think that we'd have a, a lot of fun, whatever it is we decided to talk about. We could continue on the use of force discussion or any number of other topics. We and, had a, we had a lot of topics at Keenvention, and, uh, and it was a great event. It was uh, an intimate occasion, and this year is going to be an, an intimate one as well. Obviously, we don't know how many people are going to come, but I've limited the pre-sale tickets to 100. Uh, it's a small place. You know, the hotel we're in here in Keene, it, it can hold a, a couple, you know, a few hundred people. But I like the idea of keeping it small and um, keeping it to where you can actually get to know everybody or at the very least meet everybody that's uh, that's at the, the convention. It's a great excuse for you to come up here and check out New Hampshire. You've been thinking about it, right? Maybe you missed out on Pork Fest or maybe you went to Pork Fest and you just want to come back this year. Come up to Keenvention. It's October 31st through November 2nd. You can go to keenvention.info. You can get your tickets there for a uh, credit card or Bitcoin. 40 bucks right now at keenvention.info. And if you want to get a taste of what it was like last year, you can watch the whole thing. You can watch the Chris Cantwell Peace Roundtable with me and Derek J. You can watch uh, you know, the legislative panel where you can learn about how unique New Hampshire is from a legislative perspective. By the way, I love that you guys called the um, the, the conversation between you and uh, Cantwell there at the Peace Roundtable as opposed to— Even though it was to, a square table or a rectangle? No, as opposed to a debate. Because ah. this is a term that just— sort of sets everybody's teeth on edge Mm -hmm. they're ready for the fight um and like okay so (laughs) nobody follows they call it a debate nobody follows the rules of debate Mm. um and uh, you know nobody nobody acquiesces at the end it's just i'd much rather hear conversations I, I, I like the term debate, and I and I thought that, that I, that's well, what I wanted you, to call well. it. And of course, like Ian's like non-confrontational yeah. thing. He's like, I don't do debates. We'll just have a conversation. When I'm always like, you know, the in-your-face like you know guy who wants to you know argue with people. It's fun to uh, and and on my on my website when I posted the video of it, I posted it, it as you support 
horse debate, <laughs> and then he posted as uh, peace round table. And yeah. It was just fun. <laughs> I, that's part of the fun interactions that I have with you. Well, right. We have uh, different perspectives, but we can come to the table and have a conversation about it and walk away friends. And uh, you know, I think we had some hugs after that one, as a matter of fact. I certainly did. And, and it's so sad that so few people are able to do that. Keenvention.info. Go and get your tickets now while they're still 40 bucks, but it'll still be a good deal even if you wait and it goes up to 60 So we'll look forward to seeing you there. Uh, number 10 on the list of 10 uh, ways that you're making your life harder than it has to be is that you don't give back. One way to deal with loss is to immerse yourself in doing good. Volunteer, get involved in life. It doesn't even have to be a big structured thing. Say a kind word. Encourage someone. Pay a visit to someone who is alone. Get away from your self-absorption. When it comes down to it, there are two types of people in this world. There are givers and there are takers. Givers are happy. Takers are miserable. What are you? I think that this is complete nonsense. I am an exchanger. <laughs> I am not a giver. I am not a taker. I exchange. And I think that that's uh, how prosperity comes. Well, they say, Chris, that uh, what you give, you receive. That uh, what you give uh, out into the world can come back to you ten times as, uh, as great. Well, I think that's sort of like uh, some sort of cosmic law of attraction type speak, and, mm -hmm. I, and, I, and I couldn't disagree with that more. I think that if you just throw things out into the world that you end up in poverty and not feeling very well about the world that you live in. I think that if you exchange with people, that the exchange is mutually beneficial and that both parties benefit, and the more often we exchange, and the more we all benefit. Not that I disagree with what you're saying about exchange. I mean, obviously, that's what makes the world go round. People doing business and creating products and services, and I wouldn't recommend you just give away all of your inventory. That doesn't make any sense. But there are some interesting stories, like uh, Peace Pilgrim, for instance, this lady who essentially gave away everything that she ever owned, and she um, acquired a tunic for herself, and what few things she could put in the pockets of her tunic were all that she had in the entire world. And, uh, you know, she basically dedicated her life to walking around the country as a fairly older lady, I think. She spent many decades, actually, a few decades doing this with essentially nothing to her name. I mean, a, a total vow of poverty, all, almost. I mean, she had a toothbrush, I think, in, in one of her pockets and a few pamphlets with her message of peace on them in another pocket, and, like, that's it. Everything else this lady uh, got because of the generosity of, of other people who, like, every meal she ever ate, every, uh, you know, roof she was ever under was just provided uh, to her. So it, it's interesting, you know, the way the world can respond or the universe will respond to somebody who is willing to kind of go out on a limb like that. Did something positive happen to this woman? Because I'm still waiting to Lots hear that Lots of positive part. things happened to her. She had uh, some pretty interesting experiences. But, you know, if what you value in life is having a constant roof over your head and uh, knowing, to, you know, being able to choose the food that you eat, then her path would not be for you, right? But for her, it was an incredibly enriching and uh, engaging experience that was life-changing. I, I think that altruism is a really destructive force in this world. And, and I can't see it any clearer than I do here in New Hampshire and in the libertarian community that people are just like, well, I don't really care about money. I care about freedom. And as a result, many of us lack funds. And that if people would go out and try to prosper and better themselves instead of, uh, I will live in willful poverty in order to pursue liberty, I think that we'd all be a lot better off. I think that uh, you know, there's nothing wrong with giving to organizations that are helping others. Like I give to the local homeless shelter here in the area. Um, but I also think that if I don't have myself in line, if I don't have my own finances straight, then I then I I'm not bringing value to the table. I can't really help somebody if I'm poor, if I'm you know useless or yeah. whatever. You you can the best way you can benefit your fellow man is to benefit yourself. So I mean, yeah, giving back in some way you know might make you feel good. I don't think that you know these things come back in any sort of cosmic manner. I mean, if if it makes you feel good to give money to a charity, or if you get to uh, you know get your name somewhere as a result of that there's some benefit from it you know that's that's great but you, people have to learn to start benefiting themselves before they try to benefit others because they can't benefit others if they don't benefit themselves if you're known in your community that. whatever that community might be and you are known as a generous person when you get into negotiations with someone inside that community to put together some kind of business deal or whatever the your reputation 
generally, if you're dealing with a good person, and you should only deal with people that uh, you consider to be good, um, if you're dealing with a good person, likely your reputation will help in the negotiations. There will be less, uh, fewer negotiations, they will be less heated, they will uh, take l less time, and you will do better. People will just offer you the deal that they were going to negotiate down to in the first place. So I think that, you know, from a, a less... A superstitious standpoint that when you give, you receive, um, you know, has it has value. Just that statement. Chris Canwell, uh, you are a fan of another radio show, the Opie and Anthony radio show, and they've been making headlines over the last couple of days because one of them got fired. I am furious about this. And seriously, if you're if you're like the type of person to say report a post to Facebook, just mm -hmm. just a snitch. Dirty snitch. You're really you're you're second the only to the state. The okay. Yeah. If you're calling up Sirius XM, nobody who listens to the Opie and Anthony show is upset about anything Anthony Cumia did. What happened? A short version. What happened? My understanding of it, and the tweets have been deleted, but I saw some screenshots that he made some racially charged tweets, okay? Mm -hmm. Anthony Cumia is a white man who got punched in the face by a black woman in on the streets of New York City, and instead of pulling out his uh, licensed concealed carry pistol, he went on Twitter and said some nasty things about her. Mm -hmm. Now, the Opie and Anthony show, if you've ever listened to it, especially Anthony's character, is, look, he says a lot of racially charged stuff. Does he? Okay. It's, it's so this not isn't unusual. out of character. It's not out of character. It's completely normal. It's part of the show. The people who tune into that program, tuned in to listen to it, and a bunch of people who don't listen to the program freaked out and started calling Sirius That's what XM. always happens. It always happens. Even the radio business, it's you, these busy bodies, the people, what is it, the Parents Television Council, I think is what they're called. This is a group of busy bodies who's, uh, what they do is they take orders from the top dogs at Parents Television Council. PTC will send out an email saying, hey, this offensive thing happened on this radio show. Oh, and Anthony, and then they send out the contact information for Sirius XM, and then all these people who never even heard the original offensive content or whatever, they'll call in and complain to the FCC or write a complaint. It's ridiculous. It's despicable. These people, I despise them, and, and the world would just be better off without them. It's sick. We'll get more of Chris Cantwell at some point in the future. Thanks for sitting in here tonight. Thanks man. for having me on, guys. Christopher Cantwell.com, his website. And we'll be back tomorrow night. You can join us online in the meantime at freetalklive.com. Did you agree? Did you totally agree? I'll bet that you did. But did you read the agreement? There are 7 billion people on Earth, and there are over 6 billion active cell phone accounts right now. And every one of them came with an agreement. Billions have already agreed to allow entities that they do not know to use and abuse every feature of their mobile devices. Your computer activity is monitored and archived. Your car is tracked, and even your face is scanned. The current power structure grows more fearful every day of your desire for anonymity, independence, free association, freedom of movement, freedom of expression, and your freedom of thought. And entire categories of humans will be targeted. And if they then those that won't leave us alone determine that we are not within their control, then we will be categorized as out of control. FreedomsPhoenix.com will launch the next phase of the Levolution by the end of the summer of 2014. And if you have to tell your neighbors about it, then we did it wrong. This Your Family Today tip is brought to you by Boost Kit Essentials Nutritionally Complete Drink. Providing your picky eater with essential nutrition and great taste in one drink. Visit us at kitessentials.com. To make sure your kids eat healthy, follow the five-a-day plan. Serve three servings of vegetables and two servings of fruit daily. Remember, a serving could just mean a piece of fruit or a half cup of veggies. If your kids are picky eaters, ask a nutritionist about other sources. For more tips like these, visit us at parenthood.com slash yourfamilytoday. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. It's my firm belief that Free Talk Live's AMP program is the best use of your charitable dollar among liberty-oriented organizations. Support all the organizations you love. But make sure you give five bucks a month to AMP at amp.freetalklive.com. The live edition of Liberty Conspiracy is next, after the news, here on the Liberty Radio Network, LRN.FM. This is the Liberty Beat, your daily source for Liberty news and activist updates, online at thelibertybeat.com. 
I'm Brian Hagan with your Liberty Beat for Monday, July 7, 2014. Gold opened today at $1,322, silver opened at $21.18, and Bitcoin is trading at $628.85. Support for Liberty Beat comes from GrowYourOwnGroceries.org, now offering an eight-week course where you can learn to treat the most common family ailments with simple medicines that you can grow or easily find. Learn more at GrowYourOwnGroceries.org. And support comes from Bitmain Tech, creators of the newly released Antminer S2 Bitcoin Miner. One terahash and only 1,000 watts. Order yours online today at bitmaintech.com or give them a call at 844-BITMAIN. That's 844-248-6246. In the news, on Saturday, the kidnapping and murder of a Palestinian teenager sparked protests in Israel. The Palestinian attorney general claimed the boy had been burned alive. This is reportedly the latest of several kidnappings since June 12th. At the funeral for the teen, a group of Palestinians threw stones as Israeli police fired tear gas, stun guns, and rubber bullets. The Israeli police arrested six suspects on Sunday. According to leaked code for the X-Keyscore program from the National Security Agency, users of Privacy Tool Tor, or the TELS operating system, are labeled as extremists and have their IP addresses logged. German researchers and journalists have found that merely searching for or visiting the Tor site will get you noticed. X-Keyscore is designed to track internet use as well as examine emails looking for information. A part of the source code refers to Tails as a tool used by extremists on extremist forums. The code for X-Keyscore is said to avoid users in Australia, Canada, New Zealand, the UK, and the US, the so-called Five Eyes Spying Nations. The website CryptoMe has claimed to be releasing more documents reportedly leaked by Edward Snowden. CryptoMe on Twitter claimed that the documents will be published in the coming weeks. In an email exchange with Vocactive.com, John Young, the founder of CryptoMe, hints that they may be released before the beginning of the upcoming hacker and whistleblower conference, Hope X. Edward Snowden is supposed to speak at that conference. Support for the Liberty Beat comes from Affordable Sound, CD and DVD duplication, along with posters and promotions materials. Mention promo code LIBERTY, and when you order 10 or more posters, you get 10 free. Online, affordablesound.com, or call them up at 512-459-5253. This is the Liberty Beat for Monday, July 7th, 2014. Check out the website at thelibertybeat.com. In San Marcos, Texas, the Citizens Utility Advisory Board has decided to continue fluoridating the city's drinking water for eight months. The Austin American Statesman reports that City Council will study the safety of the fluoride. Fluoride opponents and activists garnered public attention, as well as over 1,000 signatures against water fluoridation. Thousands of government records were lost, destroyed, or missing, including 114 files connected to an investigation into a child abuse ring that may have involved British government officials. Suspicions rose after Mark Sedwell, the Home Office's permanent secretary, revealed the loss of an estimated 36,000 records. Now that includes records related to allegations of a pedophile ring dating back to the 1980s. A new study published in the Journal of Human Brain Mapping found that under the influence of psilocybin mushrooms, the brain experiences activity similar to a dream. Now, researchers examined brain scans of volunteers who were injected with the mushrooms. Now, they found activity of the hippocampus, an interior cingulate cortex, brain centers connected to emotional thinking. Dr. Carhart Harris said the team was also studying the effect of LSD on creative thinking and the possibility of treating depression with psilocybin. Support for Liberty Bean comes from The Corey Moore Show, live every Friday night at 9 o'clock Central Time. Find them online at CoreyMooreShow.com. And support for the Liberty Beat comes from Roberts & Roberts Brokerage, Inc. Precious metal